Hey guys, Fear back again with another Twitch VOD. This one is from the 21st of February 2022. I'm looking a little bit different currently as this is being recorded a little bit later, but that's fine. Uh, this one, we were doing Heartbreaker Farms, of course, and Mount Farm Monday alongside because it was a regular stream day, so a little bit of a, a longer stream. If you'd like to catch us live, you can do so at twitch.tv forward slash fiama. If you pop a forward slash schedule on the end of that, you'll get my uh, my times, my, my schedule, funnily enough, converted magically to your time zone so you can see when I'll be going live next and come join us. And if you're feeling generous, please do jump on into my Instagram account uh, so what I'm focusing on at the moment or on Twitter or Facebook or TikTok and just follow all the social media if you want more fear when I'm offline all those links are down in the description below I hope you enjoy this VOD and we will see you next time hi we're back again <laughs> what do we got for quests today oh dear all right Let's, uh, let's get this show on the road, shall we? Where do we want to go? Let's go skins again, because I don't have either of the skins from this event yet. And I'm guessing not many of you have both of them either. I'm sure some of you probably do, but I'm sure some of you probably don't. Uh, okay. What are we doing? Bombers, tanks, barbarians. Bombers, tanks, barbarians. So, Barbarian has short cooldown, as does a bomber, as uh, tanks are even shorter. So, I think I'll go with the Barbarian. Start getting that crossed off. Hello. Hello. Uh, and I need to do battle plans as the whale. So, there we go. There's that. <sighs> Alright. Um, I have a bottle of coke to, um, to, to have later on when I start to fade. And I have a second bottle of coke to get me through tomorrow the work day. <laughs> I bought a bag of mandarins, like mandarin oranges. The ones, they're like the little orange ones that segment really easily and peel really easily. They're like a really great snack food, fruit, healthy, sugar, sugar. Um, <laughs> so I bought myself a little bag of those. I think it's a kilo. I think there's like five of them in there-ish, roughly. Um, I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to. <laughs> I, I don't want to... Oh, I'm terrified about what this is going to do to my body. Um, so we're going to we're gonna see how we go. We're going to see how we go. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything is fine. I had a really chill, relaxing day today. I did do some catch-up. I went through my Asana. Oh my god, I opened Asana this morning. Holy hell, I opened Asana this morning and I had two pages of overdue tasks and I was like mm -hmm. So I um I went through and I'm like does this really need to be done because they're like a lot of them are repeating tasks I have a shitload of repeating tasks that need to be done like weekly or fortnightly or things like that And I'm like do I actually have to do this or can it wait a week? Uh, and I'm like no I that can wait a week so most of them can wait a week so I like reshuffled things and got all the due dates sorted and, and crossed off a few things that really don't need to be done until next time they're supposed to be done. Um, and just kind of cleared all that out. And then I did, uh, I went exercised, I exercised, which was good. Got some air, got some sun, got groceries because we couldn't get them yesterday. As those of you who were on stream yesterday, in stream yesterday would have known. Um, we did a boo-boo with the opening hours of the grocery store um and jazz came in in the evening and went so um we don't have anything for food prep because i forgot to go and now they're closed i was like good wonderful so uh, i went and grabbed the things that we need for the week uh, on my way home from exercise um so got that done and i did my march 
Mount, mount makeup looks. I, I planned out all of my mount makeup looks for the entirety of March's streams, uh, which felt really good to do. So that's that's done. I got a thing done. Um, and then I sat on my ass and watched Netflix. I have been I've been doing laundry. I've been like I've just done a few loads of laundry. Um, but yeah. I, I was like, I need to, I need to chill because I'm, I'm going to hate myself tomorrow. So I needed to chill. So I did. I took care of myself. Um, yes. So I'm, I'm alive. I'm alive. Oh, also. Package. I got a package. I got two packages actually, but one of them was not from Throne. One of them was my replacement white pearls from Bubble Tea Club. Again, for those of you who have been tuning in regularly, uh, we cracked open a container of white pearls from Bubble Tea Club, and it turned out there was a a bit of mold in there, which is not what you want in food. Um, it's not good for you. So we we sent it. We took a photo and we sent it to them, and they said, "Oh my god, that's not normal." Um, so they sent us a replacement white pearls and a ten pack of strawberry fruit tea with popping pearls as well. Which was incredibly kind of them, and that arrived today, so I'm I'm very happy about that. Um, and then I got a package from the Smiley Company. It's Amazon. Amazon's the Smiley Company, just by the way, because it's their whoosh, it's their logo. It looks like a smile, probably in, probably on purpose, but um, look, it's fine. So I believe I have Zarin to thank for this one. I believe I have Zarin to thank to thank for this one. Um, let me, one moment, please. One moment, where's the orders? I just wanna double check that I've got this right because you know what my memory's like. It's trash. Um, yes, it is from Zeren. Cause I know there's, no, there's nothing else that this could possibly be given that it's shape and size and weight. Oh no. I hate when packages do that. What is it in there? It's a bottle brush. It means I can use my bottle again without making myself horribly, horribly ill. Yay. What did these say? That's a packing slip. And that says, a gift for you. Enjoy your gift. Wonderful. I will. I will enjoy my gift thoroughly. Thank you very much, Zarin. Much appreciated. I am very excited to... Uh, to actually, oh, it's got a hook on the end too. Oh my gosh, chaos. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Congratulations to Candy Friend. Oh my God, it feels so funky, you guys. Cause it's like a plastic brush, it's synthetic. It feels so weird, so weird. But it's got a little, like a little hooky thing on it so that you can scrub the bottom of a brush, like a bottom of the bottle as well as like the sides and stuff. It just makes it a bit easier. I am so happy. I have like several drink bottles that I just have not been able to get like proper clean. So uh, I guess what I'm gonna do after I've had a couple nights worth of good sleep. But clean all the bottles. I'm so excited. Yay! Thank you so much, Theron. Much appreciated. You know you're an adult when you get excited over a bottle brush. Am I in queue? I am in queue. Good. Wonderful. I'm gonna mark that as received. Yes, Marcus. Oh, I have to mark my Fitbit as received as well. I have been wearing it all day today. I am very, very happy. Very, very happy. Uh, I posted, I created the new channel in the Discord and I started a thread for, for sleep stats. And, um, oh, hang on. Dude, I knew I was gonna get a ton of hydrates today. So I, um, I was brewing my tea. Chuck. Because I can't fit any more water in my glass. <laughs> It's fine, I'm prepared today. Well, I'm attempted to be anyway, look. We'll see how we go. Also, I wanted to say, uh, you might have seen in the, in the Discord or on Twitter um, that I received another a gift from Throne overnight from an anonymous person. Uh, and I can, I, I'm sure that the person who did the thing knows that all the things go off everywhere. Um, but I feel like maybe they did it off stream because they didn't want a whole song and a dance about it. So I'm not sure. I can replay the alert 
so you guys can see it. But I don't know if, the, and I, because they, I don't know if they want me to, and I, because they're anonymous, I couldn't check with them to see if they were okay with that. So I'm, I don't know. But I'm so more eye brushes, and they're so pretty. They're so bright colors, and just oh my god, they're amazing. So thank you so much, Anon. Thank you so much. Um, I'm just, I'm so grateful. Just you, you guys are so goddamn generous. Not just, not just financially, but like, you are generous with subs and bits and, and like sharing with your friends and, 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 and like social stuff and with your time, spending time here with me on stream. You're just, you're all so fucking generous with everything and I am eternally grateful and thankful. So thank you. You are also, yes, you are generous with hydrates. Yes, I should catch up on chat. Uh, well done, Zamon first, Yori with last, Fairy with also here, Koala with 69th, wonderful. Uh, we don't have a frist. We don't have a frist. Uh, no, Koalatron's definitely working. I think it may have been a, uh, a typo with the one that Sika, but Sika with attempting with the first. And then there's a thread from channel, wonderful. And a third as well, it's working, there's no E. Yes, it was also taken. Oh dear, it's it's a bit of a it's a bit of a race in the beginning, isn't it? I didn't get first, I just take 69th, wonderful. Oh, and Ali, hello, six seeker cannot spell, that's okay. Look, I can't spell half the time. Thank duck for autocorrect. All of the hype axiom, hello. Hello, X. All oh, the cooldown. <laughs> and then with the second. Wonderful. Yeah. Yes, both of them have. Both of them have. Oh my god, the hydrates. Good lord. Good lord. Just gonna stream solo from now on. Ah, oh, there you go. More time to hang out here, indeed. And there's nothing to stop you from occasionally featuring. Like, just doesn't stream on Twitch. Does that mean he's not gonna sit next to me every time I play something related to Pokemon? Absolutely not. Of course he's going to join it. Like, yeah, it, there's nothing, there's nothing stopping you from doing that kind of stuff. Um, the only thing that it prevents is you streaming solo uh, on, on his channel, because it can get a little bit funky with the affiliate contracts and stuff like that. But honestly, like, yeah, that's, that's awesome. I'm glad that you guys have come to a decision that works for you. That's wonderful. Yes, let's get that mount. Yes, agreed. Because I don't want to stay up till four. I'm old. I can't do that shit anymore. I can't do that shit anymore. Enjoying the blue vibe today. Love when makeup matches tops. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, cholera, not the pixie. No, no. Yeah, no. Coca-Cola. In Australia, we just call it Coke. Um, I'm pretty sure it actually says Coke on the label. Um, I'm definitely not referring to cocaine. I don't do illegal shit. Hi. Um... Uh, how's your day going? Yeah, good. Not too, like, a little bit productive, but not, like, too productive, like, enough that I could just sort of sit for a bit, because I'm fucking tired and I've got a long stream ahead of me. Um, you're to rank 10, loving it. Ah, oh, fantastic! I hate yourself, you can't. Thank you, Tank. I uh, only found out last year why the Amazon logo looks like an arrow. Isn't it because they're like sending stuff and it's like here it's going? Or I don't know. I don't know. There was they probably spent several million dollars think tanking a smiley arrow, which just kind of disgusts me. But I know it's investment in a business brand and shit like that. It just hurts my brain. Um, but you know, my God, so many fucking redemptions. Uh, I know that my internet and issue was fixed beforehand. I'd have been disconnected if you don't know. Oh, fantastic, Nutty. That's such a good news. That's such good news. No mount luck today. I guess I'll be joining you later. Oh, Yori. We're in for it, aren't we? We're in for it. Arrange the house today. Move my books back onto the shelves. 270 of them. Wow. It does give you a chance to, like, rearrange and stuff, though. Mmm. Generous with hydrates. You are. You are. Heartbreaker. I don't have one little. And now no one else can use that redemption because it's restricted to once per stream, even if I reject it. Good job. Um, so do you have a potential accidental 12 hour stream? Not me. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want the mount to drop. <laughs> I 
on the mountain drop. Uh, I'm forgetting what a clue sky looks like. I'm not sure what you- do you mean blue sky? Uh, emote only chat, we can do emote only. There you go. There's a two minute timer. Phenomenal. Uh, Amazon is bookstore, error goes from A to Z in Amazon. Oh, A to Z, yeah, that's right. But now they do it without the without the word as well, it's just the arrow. Yeah. Everything from A to Z, A to Z looking like a smiley. Yeah, but they don't have it with the they don't have it with the word anymore. They just have the smiley on all the boxes and stuff. Because they have such brand recognition that they don't need the word anymore. That's terrifying a little bit. Getting paid 100 k as a marketing sector to decide to change the font of your company. But it's not, you're not being paid to decide to change. You're being paid to figure out which font to use. And why. That's the big thing. That's the big thing. Hello, Casey. Which reference to New Look today either? Well, at least I'll have, at least I'll have a couple of people for company. Just, just a couple. I really hope I can get, like, I, I really hope I can get the runs done. If I, if it doesn't drop, I hope I don't miss any, you know? That'll, that'll suck. <sighs> Although I have a feeling that there are going to be a lot of people who are like us in wanting to squeeze in those last attempts. So we, we sh should be okay. Maybe. Maybe. You got 40 seconds left on emote only chat and remember that the emotes bounce across the screen as well. So show me all those little pretty pictures. I want to see all the things. Ah, the Murlocs. Wonderful. Look at them all. There we go. Alright, you can use your words again. Enjoy. Enjoy. Hello, Loza. Hey, Tony. Comic Sans, please. Yeah. <laughs> you, you had that typed out waiting for emote only to turn off, didn't you, Jack? <laughs> um, so we do have Mount Makeup today. Mount Makeup is returning because I'm not... I mean, I'm still tired, but... Where we're alive, so it's okay. The alpha company that chooses wingdings. Uh, so I have I have grey in my crease. It's like a light medium grey in my crease. Uh, then I have like navy blue, as you can probably see, a navy blue on the outer corner. And I have a very white, very sparkly kind of shade on my lid, which I'm really glad is actually showing up as white because I was afraid it would just kind of look like skin color that sparkles, but it has a little bit of pigment to it, so it does actually show up as white. Uh, so those are your colors, white, navy blue, and gray. Hey, a hat. Blue Wind Rider? No. Just about to say yes, did mean blue. Storm number four, pass over last night. Should we have to want to see the blue skies, no wind? Yeah. Yeah, we've had we've had blue skies here, but so much wind. Ah, 51! 51 for Vivienne. Where is her? Where is she? Vivienne, there she is. 51. Brilliant. Where's the box? What's in the box? In the box. Not a goddamn mount. <laughs> no. No. Riven Death's Jess Charger. No. No. Um, where is my next TPS only tune? There it is. Um. Ah, uh, you call me Nate if you think you remember. I will do my best to remember. I just didn't want to call you hate because I felt like that was not super nice. To, to call somebody, you know? So I'm like, well, there's hat there. So <laughs> as, as ridiculous as that might sound, I just like, you know, na like naming someone something that is full of such like negative energy. And so I look, I'm not, I'm not one of those kind of people, 
but I was raised by one of those kind of people. And so I definitely still have that leaning towards, you know, we don't, we don't call things horrible things because then it manifests and blah, blah, blah. So I didn't want to call you hate because I felt like that was not very nice. Um, so I just, that's why I've been calling you hat. I will try, try to remember to call you Nate. I'll do my best. Um, <laughs> good. You're supposed to farm mounts another level. I know, I accidental dinged. Accidental ding. Tempted to add ATT mount. I mean, I think it's going to be pretty bloody obvious. Because the remember that the ATT sound doesn't go off until you learn the thing. It doesn't happen immediately upon it dropping unless it's a soulbound item um, that is like transmog and it immediately gets added to your wardrobe. So if it's a mount, I, it's not going to trick me into thinking I've dropped it. Like, it's that's not how that works. But, you know, it's fine. Rarity, on the other hand, will pa ching and I'll be like, what? It'll be fine. Uh, anyway. Is the sparkly important? Uh, no. Not really. I just really like the eyeshadow and I thought it was really cool. So I mentioned that it was sparkly and white. So no, it is it is white, navy blue, and grey. Sorry for misleading. Happy Monday and all the luck. Thank you, Loza. I appreciate that. That's three down. Uh, one. And that's 250 mil. I've been tracking my- I've had- that's half a litre uh, of water I've had today. I've been tracking it in the Fitbit app. And my food! I've been tracking my food as well. Um, I need to add a drink. I'm gonna be at 250 and I'm gonna save. Ta-da! Alright, I'm standing in shit. I should get out of the shit. And then I have my- the water I was brewing before because I knew I was going to run out. There we go. Mixy mixy. Good. Grumble. Uh, no, it's okay. Brilliant. Wonderful. Hate. Look, we could- look, Hate could work. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you see some confusing usernames every time you- oh, fucking oath. It's like, how do I even pronounce it? You know what? I'm just gonna go with the first letter. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I definitely do get a few confusing ones. I do my best, though. I absolutely- and if I genuinely have no idea, I'm like, I do not know how to pronounce that. Please let me know. Um, and then, yeah, we kind of go from that, but yes, wonderful. Great blue elec. No. How goes the runs? Oh, hi, Jas. Are you home? You must have gotten home, like, right after I started. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they, they're going. We've done, we've done six. Mmm, <laughs> we've got two heartbreakers. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, I spent an hour in Stormwind catching lobster and crabs for some chefs lol. Gonna be a while before I'm doing any raiding or anything brilliant. Sapphire Skyblazer? No. Uh, hello, Lemon. I'm a bit confused by your message, but that's fine. Welcome in. Hope you're having a lovely day. Just right, got stuck in the Oh, that's okay. Not a worry. Not a worry. No, we did just the toys and I grew. Oh, did we? That's hilarious. I didn't see those. I haven't gotten any toys yet, I don't think. It's a song lyric. Oh, okay. Cool. That explains a bit. Um, Jas, there are bottles of coke in the fridge. Please, no touchy. I need the caffeine for later and for tomorrow. Uh, but I think you still. I think we've still got some Pepsi syrup. So if you want to mix that up, then obviously you can. But yeah. Mm. We have Pepsi syrup. I think we do. Or Pepsi Max syrup or something, don't we? Uh, Astral Cloud Serpent, no. But yeah, there are there are two like 600 ml bottles of Coke in the bottom of the fridge and I would just please ask that you know touch you because I am going to desperately need those. Uh, Heavenly Azure Cloud Serpent, no.
Crowbolt riding Talbot. No. Not that one. Hey, a wild. How are you going today? Should be having a lovely day. Albino Drake. Nope. Oh, God. It's not a good thing that I'm starting the stream tired. <clears throat> Relaxing in this Queensland heat, indeed. It is quite warm, hey? I have uh, air conditioning running. Is fear tired? Oh lord, yes. Always. Wild Seed Cradle. Nope. Just came out early. I'm hoping so. That is that I would very much like for that to happen. Uh, but we will see. We will see. Relaxing in this economy. Economy! Yep, I can spell. You absolutely can. Economy! Voracious Gorger. Nope. Uh, I missed it. Did we get the fly iron? Oh, I don't think I did. Um, it's... I, I own it. Uh, and it's a ground mount. I own it and it's a ground mount. And there is an add in progress, so we might need to repeat that uh, for non-subscribers in text. Oh, goodness. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Ar Arboreal Gulper? No. Armored Frostbore? No. I'm calling it now. Mount will drop on the last run of the day. I am I'm fully anticipating for it to drop on attempt 1600 just to fuck with me. And we missed the last attempt and we only get 1599 done. Because fuck me, right? Tamed Mola? Nope. Yes, a heck on Zam indeed. Jess, um, I got the, the bubble tea package arrived today, so I've put that away, but I also got my brush, my bottle brush from Zarin has arrived. So this is a very happy occasion also. Armored Frostbore, no. Good news earlier too. In change covenants in nine two, you got damn hearth will swap too. That's nice. That's nice. Spectral wolf. No. Silver war talbic. Nope. Ivory hawk strider. Nope. Cobalt War Talbuk. Nope. Voracious Gorger. Nope. One can play with Swapping Covenants and they fixed it. Ah, wonderful! Hand of Frestamorak. I don't have any of the hand mounts. No. I don't think I do. Maybe I do. But it's not. It's not that one. Uh, speaking of, I have a package for- <gasps> What? Really? Where the fuck from? 
Unless they've done another delivery to the... I've gone down twice for two different deliveries today. Have they done the third round? Uh, blue Mechanistrider. No. Giant Cold Snout. Nope. No, it was the thing I was waiting for. Ah! Wonderful. Fantastic. Frost Wolf Howler. No. Frost Shard Infernal. No. I got two things, extra things out of that one, but neither of them were the mount, so I'm still... I'm still sad. <laughs> uh, more Swan Charger. No. Got one more Horde Tune and then we're switching to a month all for our Alliance runs. Oh, excuse me. Shimmer Mist Runner. No. I don't think it's been said, but no, it's not the Shimmer Mist Runner. I actually really like this look today though. Like the neat the, the blue and the silver and the like it's just it all works really well together. In my honest opinion. In my humble opinion. Snowstorm. Nope. Hmm, big blizzard bear. I unfortunately do not have a big blizzard bear, but no, it is not that one. Dreamlight rune stag. Nope. Yeah, do you want it wrapped or unwrapped? I don't mind, Jas. Up to you. Entirely up to you. The other question is, do you want me to not be streaming? Do you want me to come out there or do you want to come in here? Like, is this a personal private moment that doesn't need to be shared with the internet? Or, or is it, or is it fine? We did not do a win. That's all right. Let us try again. It was the first battle of the day. Speaking of humble, indeed, I am a humble affiliate. Ooh, it sounds like I'm in. It is, I am. Okay. So. Um, blue Kiraji battle tank. Nope. X45 heartbreaker. No, that's pink. My shadow is blue. <laughs> Wandering Ancient. No. That's a buster. I don't want the buster. I want the bomber. There we go. <clears throat> Place your units! And some mount that you have. Yes. However, the mount that my eyeshadow is inspired by is white and blue and grey. Uh, and it doesn't fly. It's a ground mount. I don't have the heartbreaker. Not yet. We'll get there. Today. Or next year. Either or. <laughs> now we help. Reverse him. Yep, totally fine. Um, I will... Maybe when I switch to Alliance, I'll skedaddle out, skedaddle out there. This first block, it doesn't mean it matter if it takes a little bit over three hours. It's just the, the next round that needs to not. Uh, which is now. I'll switch. Uh, still have the mount. Yep, indeed. Hasn't dropped yet. I am Bound Charger. No. Snow Feather Hunter. Yes. Koala has won it. It is the Snow Feather Hunter. So Koala, if you could give me a number between 1 and 100 and I will return shortly. I do have a chair stream, so I'm going to take that. Run away, little girl. Run away.
I noticed I hadn't turned my chair lights on when I looked at the stream on Jas's computer. I was like, oh, uh oh, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, all right. Inward, onward, upward. Rocket. <laughs> Can has plus. <laughs> okay. Uh, where? Because I just spoke to Koala. Snow for the Hunter. There we go. Uh, right away. 42 for Koala. Wonderful. No, I don't need to type. I need to click the things. Good. Let us hop on in. Thank you for your patience for those who are waiting for the Alliance cues. Here we go. Okay. That was quick. Dead in Vinland. I'm not, that's not a typo. I'm pretty sure that's Vinland and not Finland. Uh, let me make sure I'm typing your name right. There you are. Wonderful. Congratulations. I hope that you enjoy it. Uh, and that's it for streaming going to bed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> but oh, good lord. I'm so tired. This is fine. I think we're gonna do have to do some star jumps and screaming later to, to wake me back up. Um, <laughs> we'll see how we go. Guys, I didn't think it had enough blue. Yeah, it's the saddle. Um, when I put the blue on my face, it kind of was a lot. And I was like, oh shit, that's a lot of blue. Cause it's like really quite bright. And it kind of, no, it didn't spread. I guess I just didn't use a small enough brush. But um, there weren't, there's not very many colors on that one. And I didn't really just want to do like gray and white. Cause I thought that'd be a little bit boring in terms of like how I actually look. Um, so I wanted to put the navy in there as well and then the navy just got a little out of hand. <laughs> um, so you are right in that there is more navy on my face than there is on the mount. So the proportions aren't quite right uh, but I hope that you can at least see the resemblance. Um, and even if you don't I hope that you appreciate that like that it looks nice anyway because I think it actually looks quite good. I like this color combo. I think it looks quite good. Anyway, um, mm, I exist, I live, kittens are hilarious to watch. This is like the number one reason why I want a kitten, is to just aim my phone at it permanently recording until the phone dies and then recharge it and keep going, but no, um, <laughs> free content. Um, yes, kittens are adorable, but unfortunately cannot afford and cannot have in the apartment, so, you know, one day. Um, out we hop. Okay. I farmed 20k Valor this week for this stupid warrior's gear. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know what that is. I'm sorry. That's fine. Vinland is a place in Sweden. Oh, there you go. Maybe it's like a murder mystery dealie. Sounds like it. Cool. North America. Oh, it's America. There you go. Still sounds like a murder mystery do you do the wacky. Uh, so that the Vikings colonized, really? <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't sound at all appropriate. I'm kidding. I'm gonna turn that off for a minute. No doubt it will warm up again and I'll need to turn it back on, but for now we're good. For now we're good. Uh, Okie dokie, let us cue. Visual comments stands very much enjoying the makeup vibe, yay! Oh, I'm so glad to hear that, Ali. Wonderful news, thank you. Mm. It's a Viking survival RPG type game. Ooh, that sounds super interesting. My main question is why bother farming that much Valor when it'll be useless in two days? Maybe they're trying to buy something that you can only get this season. And it'll be more difficult to get next season or something. And so they're trying to farm it up so they can buy it before the, season, before the patch hits. <clears throat> like me frantically getting in attempts um, for today and, and possibly tomorrow morning trying to get something that's going to disappear. Rubs a ruby, that shit's impossible to get to drop. Huh? Ruby, or in the warrior's case, PC. I'm confused. That's okay. I'm guessing you're talking about trinkets or something. 
Uh, moving power crystal. Yeah, I wish. I play mage, and that's all I really understand, so. <laughs> but that's okay. You can literally get a better one that than, than Valor can reach in two days. Yeah, my thought was like a transmog set that isn't going to be able to be purchasable as easily when new patch hits. But yeah, without further information, it's kind of, yeah, we, we don't know, do we? Oh my god, are you guys excited for tomorrow evening where there's not going to be a fear stream? Ah, oh, that was only gear-ups. Ah, okay. Cool. Thank you, Jack. Wasn't too sure. Thought maybe there might have been, like, a... a set or something. Honestly, I'm excited I won't have to do any more runs. Me too. Me too. Mother of God. I am done with this. 50 characters was a great idea until I actually had to do it. <laughs> uh. Uh, no fear stream, I want a refund. Of what? I mean, I guess you have a sub. Yeah, take it up with Twitch. No fear stream, riot. I get my days off again. It's gonna be amazing. I actually get shit done for once. <sighs> get myself prepared, get everything caught up and prepared for surgery. So that I can just actually not work for two days after my surgery in March. Hi, the sun. Ah! Land out with the resub at tier two. 54 months, good lord. What can I say that hasn't already all this time? How many ways to say you make me smile? Two really so helpful for you. Aw, thank you so much for your kind words, Landa. That's very kind of you. Thank you. What is going on? My frame rate is tanking. 10 FPS, what is going on? Is something open in the background somewhere? Uh, let's close that. Yours too? Okay, so it's not just me. I wonder if it's just in the instance. Maybe it'll clear up when we get out. Um. Okay. Fifty care is a great idea if you got it like day three. Exactly. Exactly. Two days is patch day. Patch day includes an eye level increase. Not yet. It doesn't. Mythic plus season ends next Wednesday. Eye level increase is raid release. Um. Need a day off. This is your life now. Okay, so nine days. So a crazy amount of valid to farm for something. It'll be replaced in nine days. Definitely not be spamming keys right now to do anything but achieves. If there are any makeup wearing people in the house. Fear is a mellow affiliate. Click the link to get a discount on some awesome products. Can personally attest to how great they are and help support this wonderful stream to pay for tips. Thank you, Seeker. And yeah, the frame rate's gone just to fine. It was just, it must have been the, the instant server or something. That's really, really odd. But it's fine. The attempt is done. Let's get the fuck out. Um, yeah, the Mellow stuff is phenomenal quality. Like, legitimately, some of the best quality makeup I've tried, and I have a fuck ton of makeup. Um, and it's really reasonably priced as well, is is something, like, it's, it's like, mid to lower range of price. Like, it's not drugstore level, but it's also not, like, ridiculously expensive, and so it's, like, in the middle, but then leaning towards the lower end of price range. But the quality is fantastic. And it's quite rare that you find something that doesn't cost too much that is great quality. Um, yeah, I've, I've enjoyed everything I've had from them so far. I've got a, a lip pencil, I've got a liquid lipstick, and I've got a an eyeshadow quad, uh, one of their palettes, the treasure chest palette, and a blush uh, in Pinky Promise that I'm, I'm wearing today. Uh, 
and they're all fanta they're all fantastic. I also have on the way, uh, thanks to kind and generous gifters on Throne, thank you so much. I've got another lip pencil on the way, another liquid lipstick, a bullet lipstick because I wanted to try the two different formulas, uh, and a baked eyeshadow which I haven't tried from them yet. So yeah, I'm I'm super excited to get my hands on those. Uh, when they arrive. Unfortunately, it looks like all of them have gotten, all three packages have gotten caught in uh, the delays in the the system, the Australia Post system at the moment, because I have tracking numbers for all three and all of them are saying delayed. So that's fun, but that's okay. It is what it is. Uh, you know, if, if they get lost, then I'll poke and prod and they'll get resent, but yeah. Um, might be a chance at the Sylve Mount. Uh. Howdy there, hello Lander. Have you got TSM enabled? Might be rebuilding here. No, I don't have it enabled. Um, usually TSM rebuilds when I log in for the first time on the first character of the day. Um, but no, I don't actually have it enabled at all. All I've got enabled for these runs is uh, Rarity, Saved Instances, Tomcat Tours, and Gnome Sequencer Enhanced or GSE. Um, and the reason for that is because I have 50 runs to do, 50 characters. And um, turning off add-ons means faster load screens. And even if you shave like five seconds off a load screen across 50 characters, loading in, loading into SFK, and then loading out of SFK, that's three load screens, that's 15 seconds per tune save. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just, it really adds up fast when you're doing this many characters. Uh, so yeah, I've got almost all of my add-ons disabled uh, and it has worked quite well for me so far. Uh, I had over 500 world latency just noped out of way. I went to bed instead last night. Oh, wow. Yeah, when I hovered over it, it said that I was on 10 FPS and my world latency was 101. But I mean, like, latency doesn't usually equate to frame rate issues. Like, sometimes you can have both growing at the same time. Um, but they do have usually dis different causes. But yeah, that was just, that was really strange. Really strange. Um... Silvermount will most likely have farm groups in a month or two from now, especially if they start giving double drops like they did for the Tide Storm. Uh, also vegan, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah. The Mellow Cosmetic stuff is, is vegan and paraben free, I believe, as well. Cruelty free. Absolutely. Uh, vegan and paraben free in case you are one of the people who uh, chooses to only use products that are those things. Double drops have been in game since Jaina and Azoth and Silv already dropped two mounts. You'll see farm groups in like six months on Shagir gets out of whack. You get also paraben cruelty free. Yes, no bunnies harmed. Indeed. Because they don't need to bloody well be. Like they really don't. These days, like good lord. Uh, still waiting on a book package to arrive Thursday was also delayed. Yeah, I had um Where's my Ozpost app? Uh Mellow Cosmetics delivery was expected. 17th of Feb, expected 14th of Feb, and then one doesn't even have a date on it. Um, so yeah, there are, uh, and all it says is we've got it. There's no other kind of tracking information. It's like, it's, it's almost like it's not being scanned when it's meant to be, or it's been lost and it's fallen down the back of a table somewhere, you know? But we'll see. We'll see, it's still waiting a book, uh, read SSD. For well load times when we get rich. Yeah, look. Look. I do have WoW on its own singular SSD. I have nothing else installed on that, but it is just a regular standard SSD. <laughs> Six month thing, like three weeks into 9.2, 12 weeks at max when everyone has full tier. Blood DK, BRM, Arsham carrying. I mean, I'd be okay with that. Let's go get us some more mounts, right? They're adding 43 new ones. Need to catch up. Actually, that is something I'm very curious about. When did not they did they add any new mounts in nine oh in nine one five? I don't think. Let me have a look. They might have like one or two. Holy moly, I'm not a gambler. I just saw Pebbles at 120 million. Gosh, that makes it tempting. Yeah, I am. Um, look, I figure someone's got to win it eventually. Why not me? I'm I'm not a gambler at all. Like I, I 
actively avoid casinos and stuff. It's uh, like I used to work for a casino and staff were not allowed to gamble at the casino. Um, so that kind of training to stay away from the tables and the slots is, uh, is hard ingrained. Um, but when it comes to lotto and stuff like that, yeah, might as well. As long as it's in the budget. As long as it's in the budget. Uh, right, okay, mounts. Both here was 9 1. It was, but I'm just wondering if there were any that were. There were, there were two the time warped badge and the tour of towers. So two mounts introduced in 915. Mage tower, yeah, yeah. So 915 and 9 1 introduced 36 new mounts. What was the release date for 9 1? Can anyone tell me? Thirty-six. Ah, oh, yeah, but nine one five was um was Legion time walking. Accurate years ago, it feels like. Nah, no, not really. Uh, I had a sponsored stream for it, and it, time has absolutely flown since then. Ah. Uh, 29th of June, awesome. So. The 28th of June, I had 565 mounts. So close enough. 28th is close enough. <clears throat> Because that will probably be um, American time as well. So at 565, I now have 641. So 641 take 565. So they released 36 mounts and I got 76. So I'm net 40 when, like net, net 40 ahead. So now I've got to get another 43 before we get the next major patch update, which will probably be a, an expansion, honestly. But uh, there you go. So look. I'm, I'm at least gaining ground somewhat, but I am now sitting on all the really difficult ones left to get. So, <laughs> a terrible idea for the Google Sheets. Oh, tell me. You have to now. You have to. Um, if you're talking about like a timestampy type deal, uh, Kuhn has a, a tab in his massive spreadsheet uh, where I think it's like almost every day at this point or every week or something like that, he plugs in what his percentage is at um, so that you can track over time what it is. But um, yeah, that's a, yeah, something like that for mounts. Well, that's because I don't really need to because DFA has that. If you click on your not on the not on the world US connected or world EU connected Zalfang, um, if you actually click on the mount number, like how many you've got, it gives you a graph that shows you your increase in mounts either over thirty days, one year, or max. And max goes back to December sixteenth, twenty twenty. So I don't think we need it because it's already provided. The only thing is that the granularity, I, th I think, is a week. Yeah, the granularity is roughly one week, which honestly I think is enough because that's how often, um, that's how often thingamajig, uh, that's how often Mount Farm Monday is. Uh, hi, you have 646 Mount Total. No, 641, 641, Ken, but close. <clears throat> okay, that is a lot. I I do work hard. It is it is something I I try hard to do. So I'm glad I'm successful in that endeavor, at least somewhat. All right, so I've been live for an hour and I have 14 attempts done. A oh, five minute DPS queue, fuck me. Right. 
It's fine. Just gotta get through the DPS and then I can rattle through tanks and healers nice and quick, hopefully. I recommend only run to had to run 12 a day. Yeah, I'm running 50. <laughs> um, so by the end of the event at 4 a.m. tomorrow, my time, uh, I'll be at 1600 attempts, unless it drops. Unless it drops. Axiom! No, not Axiom. I can't even read that. Right. Mal! Thank you so much for the biddy with the puppy. Much appreciated. My brain read Axiom because that's how fucking tired I am. I am not in a good place for this bloody stream. Good. Thank you so much for your generosity. Oh, fuck off. Give us a healer. Much appreciated. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, I need to rush. You have 11 more hours. Look. I don't want it to take 11 hours. I know, actually, my, my brain cannot read today, apparently. I'm having, I'm having some difficulties. Which is, which is great. Which means, like, who knows, even if the mount does drop, maybe I won't even recognize that it's dropped. That's a good note. That's a good thing to think about. I'll just, like, see it and go, oh, cool, and then keep doing runs. This would be great. This would be wonderful. Much appreciated, Mal. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I do apologize for the brain's miscommunication there. Oh, dearie me. All right. 515 attempts down. No, 1515. It looks 1515. Good. By the end of the stream, I'm not even gonna be making any sense. Like the words coming out of my face will just be gibberish. This is gonna be great. You guys are going to be so entertained. <laughs> so entertained. Oh, fuck. I have my lucky earrings on and everything. Just hoping for the best. For the best. <clears throat> oh, right, hydrates. Let's crack a few more of those. Here we go. It's another empty glass. Add that to my tracking. Whoa. Did the emote only. I have some stretches, so let's do a stretch. Ugh. It's almost time for me to start um, scheduling March's streams. So, obviously, Mountain Farm Monday. Obviously. And uh, the return of Social Sunday, where we do lax. When I do, when I farm for my transmog, we will, we will do lax. Uh, so people can join in and farm with me. For transmog, but also for gold. Why not? Let's, let's toss them in together. Um. <clears throat> Is there anything else you'd like to see in March? Uh, keeping in mind that there's going to be a surgery. So what I am, what I am thinking, what I am thinking, um, 
Uh, surgery's on Monday, so there won't be a Monday. Like, that Monday will be a day, a day off. Uh, the Wednesday will also be a day off, because I'm probably going to still be high on painkillers. I'm going to have a new hunk of metal in my jaw, after all. Um, I am looking forward to speaking to uh, Jared and Yori on hopefully rescheduling our Mario Party Strim Stram. Uh, because last time we tried to do it, uh, COVID struck. So that was, that was a time. Um, so we're hoping, I'm hoping that maybe we'll be able to find time for that in March. Maybe like, maybe post-surgery. Because I'm not sure how I'd go with six hours of Mario Party and anyway. But hanging out with uh, like a, a bunch of people also with the content so that it's not just delirious fear who's still high on painkillers might be might be better for everyone involved um and i'm also thinking of maybe doing a short stream of chef squad after surgery to kind of like ease us back in gently like a shorter stream but how are we sleep yes also sleep i would like sleep in march too personally um good lord this queue Seven minutes! Fuck off. You're joking. I've just hit four minutes in queue, which why which is why it feels so long, and I'm sitting at seven minute average wait time. Fuck my life. Oh, there we go. Bitch and you shall receive. In this economy. Fight night Friday. You wanna do PvP? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Do we want PvP Fridays, or do we want 50-60s Fridays? <laughs> Asking the big questions. <laughs> Yori has an opinion. <laughs> Influence me. <sighs> so I'm excited. No, no need to apologize. No need at all to apologize. Need to get you those on amounts? We do. We absolutely do. You are correct. I could technically run PvP on my lower level tunes and get experience while I'm getting honor. Double up. The only thing is I wouldn't be able to work on achievements that way because not a lot of the PvP achievements are account wide. It's hard to choose between those two, isn't it? Isn't it? Why not 160s? Because I only have one account. And you have a maximum of 50 characters on one account. Also, hi. Can I have a day with no rain and wind speed under 20 miles per hour? I unfortunately can't help you with that one. You might be able to, but I, I can't assist. Uh, Zam, Koala, Durin, Loza, Sika, and Brick. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Well done. Off we go towards the skin chest. A god is present. Ooh, the trial of Calliope. Uh, I can't do bummers. I can do but 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 barbarians. I think yes, this one. Good. All right. Yeah, good afternoon, Draz. How are you? Hope that you are well. Uh, I don't think you need to do 50 60s. There'll be 60s any uh, until next year due to time walking farms, etc. Anyway. There'll be 60s by next year anyway. Yeah, look, potentially, but I don't think I'm going to go through all 50 tunes to do a time walking to get badges and stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I'm likely to go through my first set of tunes, like my 60s first, because they're the ones saving up for the big expensive pieces. But you have got Another a good point. hydrate. I don't have any hide. Well, okay. I spoke too soon. Good. <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
Uh, in 5060s would be smart. Get prepared for next year's Heartbreaker runs if we by some miracle get an expansion drop before then. Actually, that's a really good point. What if we get an expansion drop? So the transmogs for ETT. Yeah, true. True. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I drank them all. I did good, X. I cleared the queue. Are you proud of me? Of course not. I'm not drowned yet. Did you know, X? Did you know that tier two and tier three subs earn points at a higher rate? They earn them faster. <laughs> oh dear. That's my soul. Ally tune. Amazing, Jack. Amazing. Always proud. Aw, thank you, X. Thank you. Almost rather there be a content drought for a year than rush out another half remote put together expansion. Yeah, look. I, I doubt we're going to get it before next Feb. I doubt we're going to get it in the next 12 months. However, that is going to make for a very, very, very long um, content patch. But we'll see. We'll see. You did know. There you go. Uh, Fiona Drowned has an emote when unsurprisingly just loved in all those 4G pieces of gear sold. Ah, fantastic. It might be the people who are, like, they're trying to buy you out so that they can put them back up at the higher pr price because they think they're going to sell. Like they're flipping. They fl they be flipping. Thinking nine months from now for the new X pack or for the announcement. Hundred percent why? Yeah. Uh, when are they not releasing expansion somewhere around October, November though? Um, a lot of them. Uh, Burning Crusade was released in February. Uh, sorry, end of January, like mid mid to end of January. It was delayed though. Um, so that's you know another example of an expansion being delayed. Um, we've had, uh, BFA was released in August, I remember, because I wore my Murloc onesie for every single day during the month of August to celebrate the release. Um, yeah, like, go back and have a look at release dates. They're all v wildly different. They're all quite different. Um, they usually tend to end up in the second half of the year, I think, more than the first, but they absolutely are variable. Yeah. Yeah, Legion August to mop with September. Oh, it might have been the Legion expansion that I wore my Milok onesie for, actually. Oh, no. No, I, no, it was BFA. Legion launch. I was streaming, but not, like, as much, much. Uh, yeah. But yeah, they're all over the place. Oh, I think I was thinking fall. Yeah, it's, um, they do tend to fall in the, the later half of the year, but, you know, they do shuffle around sometimes. Um, but the distance between an announcement and a launch is usually pretty decent. Like, you know, they'll usually, they, they'll announce at BlizzCon, which is, you know, an October, November, like, usually early November event. And I think it is, it's like the first weekend in November, I thought, or something like that. And then we'll get the release in the later half of the next year. So it's a big gap between announcement and release. So the fact that they haven't announced it yet tells me we've got a little bit longer to wait. But I mean, that's okay. I, for me, that's fine. I know that there are a lot of people out there who only do raiding or only do Mythic Plus or whatever, and then that's going to get a bit boring for them. Um, but Hopefully it'll give them a chance to explore some other games and stuff as well and have a bit of fun uh, while they wait for the next X-Pack to launch, but just gives me more time to get more fucking catch-up on all the collectibles. Oh, excuse me. Uh, we've come to expect end-of-year X-Packs with a two-year gap. I don't think that's happening with whatever we get next. No, I agree. Uh, I agree, and I think uh, that's got a lot to do with the lawsuit and also a lot to do... Like, they're, they're not... They're still focused, obviously the teams who work on development can't work on a lawsuit, like it's different, um, but what with the focus on changing things up, and I'm guessing that they're going to be having a lot of internal meetings about things and stuff, uh, which of course disrupts development time and things like that, but also fucking COVID. This will be the first expansion we have ever seen that has been developed almost entirely from home. I'm sure there are people working in the offices and stuff like that, like on campus, 
but this is the first expansion that we will see from start to finish having people developing good chunks of the content from home and that for some industries that takes longer for me i'm more efficient when i work from home because i don't have people constantly knocking on my door and saying hey can i sneak this in last minute for payroll and having to explain why they can't do that and all that do you know what i mean like it's that it, i'm more efficient when i work from home uh but that's not true for all uh not not true for all people and not true for all industries some industries definitely benefit a hell of a lot more from sharing a closed network and being able to send stuff or access the same files on a network instantly um rather than having all the shit that i deal with working from home and trying to open files and stuff like it's just it's not i mean granted um, Blizzard's going to have a hell of a lot more money to make that stuff more stable than a not-for-profit does, but, um, it's still not easy. It's still not easy. So, yeah. It'll be interesting. I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what they pull out next and what the kind of, like, what the development cycle has looked like. I really hope that they do some behind-the-scenes sort of sharing as, you know, this is what we've managed to do despite COVID fucking everybody over. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, I really think it's going to be interesting to see that. I, I hope that they share some background um, into into how they got it back on track and stuff, but that's going to be up to them whether or not they feel that that's an industry secret or not. Um, making new expansion around November or December. Uh, ooh. It'll be sticky. That's only nine months away. Unless we get an announcement real soon. Um, but look, never say never, right? Never say never. Uh, I honestly think it'll blow out to June, July next, like, 23, personally. Um, but. They also might want to get it out the door to tick the box before handing over to like handing over the big reins to to Microsoft. Um, obviously they're not handing the reins of development of World of Warcraft, that's not what I'm talking about, but like at the top, top level, they might want to tick all those boxes so that they're not handing over in the middle of preparing for a launch of a really big title, you know? Um, but again, I don't work in the industry, so who knows? Who knows? Um, uh... You try to give us a year between announced to release, to be honest. Um, usually, yeah, it's not usually a full year. Uh, it's not usually a full year. So we, we get the announcement early November and then we've had stuff release in August and September. Um, so that's just short of a year. It's like nine or ten months. Um, so if they announced it this month, then we might be looking at November, December. But I think they'll give themselves more time than that. Um, it's better to have it ready early than it is to have to delay again. Am I right? I think they'll give themselves a bit more time um, so that if they do need it, they've got it. At least that's what I'd, I'd hope. Um, do you think we're going to get an announcement pretty soon after 9-2 drops? Uh, great, I would guess announcement in April-ish. Yeah, so not, not pretty soon as in like three days, but pretty soon as in with a couple of months. I would also expect that. I would also expect that. <clears throat> yes, good point, Shiba. Remember, this is a spoiler-free zone. No talk about leaked content or anything since we're talking about the future X-Pack release. Correct. Um, speculating about... Um, speculating about, like, when it might be announced and, and when it could come out and stuff like that is fine. Um, but I know that there have been potential leaks and things like that, and that is the kind of stuff we don't discuss here. Um, because if the leaks are true, then it is spoilers. And we are a spoiler-free zone. So that's, uh, that is my policy. Um, so yeah, just to keep that in mind and do be aware. Uh, and Walker was designed under COVID and God's majority high praise it got. Uh, you also have staff that would have been dealing with children being home, areas having power cuts because Kelly's power company suck in some areas, etc. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like COVID, COVID was huge. Not just the working from home thing, but like, and having that breakdown in communication potentially between like within departments and things but yeah there are other like there are other things that happen at home that just don't happen in a workplace um so yeah 100 uh i think that they'd be better off giving themselves the extra time and, and estimating a june july release and then going 
actually guys, we're doing a cracking job and we're releasing in March. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, that's a hell of a lot better from a PR standpoint or using those extra three months to fucking polish. Why not, you know? Uh, I think that's a far better strategy than um, trying to squeeze it out nice and quick. Um, so PTR time for four months and that's on the other side. Padding 9-2 some amount, there will be a 9 -5. Oh yeah, we know that. We know 9-2-5 will be a thing. Uh, this amount not dropping fewer is breakering my heart. It's breakering my heart too, Keggy. But we got 50 runs today and then 50 runs between 1 and 4 a.m. tomorrow. So we can only hope. We can only hope. Posture check, you're not wrong. Uh, we know there'll be a 925, assuming that has content, uh, PTR, etc., that would delay beta for 10.0. Not necessarily. We have had PTRs and betas open at the same time. We have. For example, PTR for launch, like p p p the PTR for like launch patch, like pre-launch stuff, and uh, and the beta open at the same time. We we absolutely have. Um, there is also the there is also the possibility that nine two five comes earlier than we are anticipating, and they launch nine two five the same day that they launch beta for an expansion. Um, and I mean again. Most of the time, if they announce at BlizzCon and then we get the launch nine to ten months later, if they announced in March, Hi, the sun was ten months after March is January, they're not going to launch an, an expansion in, oh, maybe end of January. And I think I missed that. What was that? Ness with the resub! Eleven months! Thank you so much for your ongoing support. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, so we could end up seeing a beta in, like, September, October. Around when you might see, you know, they, in fact, is that not perfect fucking timing to launch the beta exclusively on BlizzCon floor? And then after BlizzCon weekend, launch beta at home. That's perfect timing. Assuming that there will be a BlizzCon this year. And they, you know, relaunch BlizzCon as bigger and better than it ever has been before. Like, that that's perfect. <clears throat> uh, no map for me. Good luck with your runs. Oh, that's okay. Dan, you've still got tomorrow morning if, you, if you're willing to pop in those last handful of attempts. But thank you very much for the well wishes. Uh, it is on 17 characters a day. It takes ages, so God knows how long this must take you. Three hours, Bozzy. Three hours on 50 tunes. As long as I get decent queues, which I'm not getting today. They're shit. They're really long queues. I uh, still think Final Fantasy players way over hype 14 for the gameplay and content it has. They do, yeah, absolutely. Um, there, there is a lot of excitement in Final Fantasy uh, around, like a s excitement and hype around Final Fantasy. So the fact that Endwalker was banging is not necessarily to do with like professional reviews and stuff like that. It's, it's also just because the players are extraordinarily excited. But that's okay. They're allowed to be. Hey, pickle. Broke my tailbone. Oh no, you're having to sit on a donut. Oh, I hope you're at least somewhat comfortable. Rest up. Um, I think that was, I think that was we really end up with is that Final Fantasy has always been more polished visually than WoW because it was released 10 years later. It doesn't have essentially 20 year old content, content running around. Well, yeah, 17 year old. Yeah, it's, WoW is, WoW is old. Um, WoW is old. And because Final Fantasy released a fair bit later, they also had the opportunity to learn from you know, approximately 10 years of mistakes that WoW made as well. Like, you, we have to keep that in mind that every MMO that comes out now has had all the opportunity from the other MMOs to learn from how they made mistakes and learn from them rather than having to actually go through making the mistakes themselves and, and wear them. But yeah. That's okay. You, you know, if you enjoy a game, there's nothing wrong with that. Enjoy it. It's fine. Uh, it's also essentially has a two-month PTR for every raid that is the live game. Where players would throw a fit if the raid was time-gated like that. We've had a few time-gated raids back in the olden days. Way back when. And yeah, they don't do them anymore for a very good reason. <laughs> um... Just on Blizzard to give us a good expo. I think at this point most people are expecting a late announcement, so I hope the effort and love and creativity is going strong for the future of the game. Absolutely. Um, however, that being said, a lot of people seem to be angry at, B I mean, at BFA and, and Shadowlands for 
some re like some reasons are valid, totally. But um like not they don't deserve as much of the hate as has as has been thrown at them, in my honest opinion. But uh that's just mine. That's just my opinion. Uh alright, where was Gisalia? So I need to jump onto Keishi. Um doesn't seem that long. It doesn't, does it, Ness? My goodness. To the heartbreaker, but not to the heartbroken. I believe in you getting it. This is the day. If not, then soon. At least this year or next. Not good at giving hope. Or That's okay, Katie. That's all right. I've still got. I've still got thirty more tunes to get through in this group, and uh, hopefully it drops because I really don't want to stream till four a.m. I'm already tired. I'm already tired. Like, <laughs> no reason we be in these conditions. The comments are no day. It's a decent expat. People just love complaining about what we have. It's happened since BC. Correct. Yep. People are saying the game is dying since literally Burning Crusade. So, yep. Today's my last day to try to get the Heartbreaker on EU. Ah, oh, Ram, good luck. Best of luck. Hey, Zuko, how are you going? The battle plan is streaming. Oh, yes, of course you can. I mean, I need them for my thingy as well, so I might as well, right? What just happened? Oh, I see what happened. Okay, we're good. There you go. Uh, people who will hype Final Fantasy, I'm a convert. Wonderful. I hope you're enjoying it. This video I was recording when I tripped backwards and busted my ass. Oh no. Oh no, Final Fantasy learnt from themselves on how to do it wrong. Understandable, but they also managed, they also had 10 years worth of WoW to learn from as well. And if they didn't take that and learn those learnings into account, then they would have been silly. Like, any developer making a new game of any genre would be silly not to learn from the mistakes of the ones that came before them. Absolutely. Like, totally and completely. On Instagram, Yoshi P loves WoW, I based on it. I play both WoW and I play Final Fantasy. Final Fantasy for me personally is a better game. That's me. I hate it when people in Final Fantasy should on WoW. Even though they're both MMOs, they're different in the style of MMOs they are. Yeah, they are. Absolutely. Um, and honestly, <laughs> I'm getting a fair bit sick of them being compared, to be, to be totally honest, because why does it fucking matter? If you enjoy one, good on you. If you enjoy the other, good on you. If you enjoy both, good on you. If you enjoy neither, good on you. Why the fuck does it matter? It doesn't. It, it genuinely doesn't. Play what you love, play what you enjoy, spend your time, your valuable time, doing things that you enjoy doing, and let others do the same. All of the developers of all the different games out there are watching each other, learning from each other, and adapting each other's work when it suits their gameplay ideals and things like that. There's there's no reason to like, like they're all fucking into, like, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all doing their things. They would be stupid not to be learning from each other. Ah, uh, Five Minutes seems cool. Don't want to sit through another twenty through twenty minute cutscenes in an MMO. I'd rather go to single player games. So that that's fair. That's fair. A lot of people do play MMOs as single player games as well, though. So it's kind of yeah, it's interesting. Uh, I can see the people behind it for sure, for sure. A lot of shitting on WoW and Final Fantasy, and it's disgusting. Yeah, it's uh, and shitting on Final Fantasy is not okay either. To be clear, like. What do we what do we gain from it? Literally nothing. Get over yourselves and not like you guys specifically, but the people who are doing the shitting. Get over yourselves. Just play what you enjoy. Fuck. It's not that hard. Um uh, I think Final Fantasy players, some at least devs benefit the doubt. Okay. Uh everything in BFA and Shadowlands wasn't all completely foreshadowed all over the place during Legion. Uh, personally, Mario to Guild Wars 2, very casual, friendly, with a unique progression system, doesn't make you feel like a chore. Oh, fantastic! I hope you're really enjoying it, Zuko. That's wonderful news. Uh, I intend to get up at 8am, it's 11.30pm, I still have 30 runs left. Oh, dude. Oh, dear. A uh, lot of interaction I've seen from Final Fantasy players have been them just shitting on other MMOs mainly. Wow, broke off a friendship because it's just not something I want to be around. Sure, it's a great game. We can lift a game up without beating another game down. Exactly. It's the same as like streamers or women or anything literally in life. 
You can lift something up without beating other similar things down. It is just... it... <laughs> fuck, you know? Good lord. Uh, like that pickle. Thank you, channel, for dropping that one. Uh, not alone, lots of people cut, skip the cutscenes, watch them later. It's fair. Devs are way more transparent than most is why. Uh, so it's most of the communities in all MMOs, just people crap talking other games when it's not needed. Yeah, that's why we don't we don't tend to don't tend to do that shit here. It's just not nice. Save our energy for better, more entertaining things. Fun and happy things. Where her comments are bad as is, but honestly most of the time for Final Fantasy players telling people that WoW sucks and Final Fantasy is better. Ugh, like fuck, find a new hobby. Good lord. Spend more time playing Final Fantasy and less time posting on a information page for a different game. Like, good lord. How... How boring does your life have to be for you to spend time going to a different game's fan site? To, like, you, you know? It, yeah, look. I just... <sighs> it's kind of sad. Mm. I like Guild War for what it is. Final Fantasy versus WoW is basically a MMO version of COD versus Battlefield. Lamau, look, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. Or, or fucking the MMO version of PlayStation versus Xbox. And do you know what I mean? Like all of those, like I'm better than you because I like something different. Fuck off. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you are not. That's not how life works. <laughs> it's childish. It is. It is. Just enjoy your shit. It's not that hard. Enjoy. If you cannot enjoy your shit without shitting on somebody else's shit, then you have deeper issues. Ah, uh, Final Fantasy a pretty game. I'll give it. Oh, it is absolutely pretty. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I guess I compare it because WoW is the big fish. So it's tall poppy syndrome. This game is bigger than we are, so we have to cut it off at the stem. Like, that's still, that's not a good reason. Like, yeah, that's still shitty. Uh, each other Final Fantasy people are great. Throw in an outside influence, they turn into rabid dogs. Oh god. I've played Final Fantasy, I do want to try it out. I've played it a couple times. Like, I've, you know, done an experimental stream on it, or like, playing it or whatever, and it's fun. It's just not enough to take me away from WoW. I don't enjoy it enough to, to stop playing WoW, and I, I do not have the time to play two MMOs, because, let us be honest, MMOs are a goddamn time sink. They always have been, and that's okay, but I personally don't have time for more than one. Oh, you should be brought into Final Fantasy, came in with knowledge of WoW, other MMOs to make Final Fantasy what it is today. If you didn't, Final Fantasy wouldn't exist. Absolutely, yeah. Congrats on Heartbreaker. Hasn't dropped yet, Ripper. Hasn't dropped yet. But welcome on in. Oh, yeah, lots of reading. Try to be relatively agnostic on things that don't actually hurt people. Yeah. Don't shit on anything. It's not cool. Uh, feel free to, to take dumps in a toilet. Or another appropriate receptacle for your bodily waste. That's like... But it's the whole, you know, don't yuck someone else's yum. Just because you don't enjoy it. Even if you enjoyed it previously and no longer enjoy it, that doesn't mean that no one else is allowed to like it, and you don't, you know, just, uh Just, uh One of my friends, Infradom, set a Final Fantasy experience, sent me plenty of pics of their cute character. Hey, a nurse. I have this friend as well, 3k screenshots of my character of Final Fantasy. Um, maybe that's okay. Uh, you missed an E there, Born. I'm very well aware. I'm allowed to be passionate. We're having a conversation. This is, this is what we do here. This is what we do. I hope you're having a lovely day. Uh, when you have room, I only play Horde. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, have we didn't, uh, hang on a second. Is that a, ah, good. Have I, can I? There we go. You should be good. Quick join. 
Uh, reply to a comment with, if Final Fantasy is so great, then why are you commenting on a WoW site? I never got a reply. Yeah, you're not going to get a reply to stuff like that, but it's also like, why bother? Why bother stirring the pot or even attempting to stir the pot? Just, if they're going to waste their time, then let them. A lot of people enjoy drama and conflict, that's why. Yeah, but that's that's not a that's not a good hobby. <laughs> like, ugh. if that's what they need to make their life interesting, it just, that's, that's sad. It makes me sad for them. But that's just me. I don't have time for that bullshit. Ah, uh, so she's better anyway. Such a man's important thing if I was you, but I should push around to get better. Well, who's to say it hasn't? Um, then you sure don't believe in giving grief when no grief needs to be given. It's basically, right? That's. There's no point, it's just a waste of energy. A limited number of spoons, I'm not gonna spend them telling somebody that they're playing the wrong game. Like, God, no. If they're enjoying it, then it's the right game for them. Even if it's only now, and they, they play it for a week and then never play it again, as long as they enjoyed themselves, then that's... Why the fuck does it affect me? Ah, a simple man who just wants to make a pretty island with talking animal villages. <laughs> Touch the start, can't do a second MMO. Too tired for game drama, just let me play Animal Crossing. Yeah, basically. Basically. I think I'm playing Lost Ark vs. Skip Wars 2. We'll take turns on which to play, of course. Of course, I had to do one of the raids in Stormblood means I had to do quests open up the raid. Do the raid, see cutscenes finish all took two hours longer than I thought. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, I guess I live here. I have to use an accented character. Huh? I'm confused. Oh well. Uh, I'm on Horde Tunes at the moment. If you are looking to join me, uh, you need to be on my Battle.net friends list, which you can do by typing exclamation add me, and then you can open up your quick join in your social panel and join me from there. Uh, very good morning. Hello, Serge. Good morning to you too. Welcome back. Oh. Um, uh, like cook me some chicken tandy burgers. Yum! Enjoy. I'm gonna do my best just to get them out. I'd very much like it before next year. Preferably before I have to do runs until 4am in the goddamn morning. Because, <laughs> good lord, I am tired. Teetering the edge of nausea for past two hours. I hate this. Oh god, that is the worst feeling. You are absolutely right. Worst feeling. Are you farming for the rocket? I am indeed farming for the heartbreaker. I have 50 characters. So I'm doing 50 runs today and then standard stream, uh, but I'm extending it through to one in the morning when dailies reset and I can start on my last 50 runs because I'm one of those. I'll be back soon making homemade pizza for tea. Oh, that sounds delicious. Enjoy. Oh, I'll start that battle after I open this box. state she might be able to spell so soon. Never got that sadly. Oh, Someone managed to get the old Zillion Raptor mount back in 2008. Nice. Well done. I feel like you're close. I'm certainly close to the end of the event. It's one thing.
Nice, I'm starting to get some faster cues now that I can do tank and healers. Ah, uh, it's been a quick game playing almost a month now. Brilliant. Glad you enjoyed it. One way or the other, it'll all be over soon. I know. I just really hope that it's over before I have to do stream until four in the morning. Because I'm not sure that I will survive that. Oh, my bags are full. Right. Shit. Have I got a mount on my bars that I can use? No, where's the tank? You come get the voodoo. Spirits be with you, man. Okay. They should be fine, right? Uh, Thor, Axiom, Koala, Pulse, Little, Fade, Seeker, Fairy, and Draz. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Let's jump into our next battle. That was quick. Uh... Another bomber. Opening a box. And getting out of dodge. Alright, um. I feel really impressed by your perseverance. Thank you, Serge. I am stubborn as all hell. Uh, I've inspired me to use my over 50 tunes to run it. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, good. On to the next one. Uh, can you take a nap between 4 a.m. and what? Between 4 a.m. and what? Which direction? Uh, why don't I start doing this today? <laughs> she doesn't love us chat kidding. I understand. Well, just stay up too late. Yeah, especially considering that tomorrow's a work day. One of my two each week. Uh, yep. Yeah, Someone should start a free for all. I could do that. I don't know if it's been done or what. Um,. The thing I'd ever put the amount of effort attempts into getting this is timeless. Predatory and the sea turtle are both insanely common now. A little bit. They are a little common. Uh, good morning, Phoenix. You do what feels good as for you. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I just want this mount to drop. What's in the box? In the box. What's in the box today? Uh, like water, you have done the runs today and before the run set. Huh? I'm sorry, no, no, this is making no sense. I'm assuming it's autocorrect again. That's oh, okay, I just, yeah. Uh, I, I do not understand. <sighs> chances, here we go. Yeah, well, we've got, so I've got, I'm getting up to 15.50 today, max. And then, like, I've gotten halfway there so far. I've done 25 runs. I can get to 15.50 today, and then... Uh, the daily resets at 1 a.m. Um, and so I have between 1 a.m. and the event ending at 4 a.m. to get my last 50 in. Uh, and with queues this long, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Uh, which is really upsetting, but we'll see. Uh, I need my heartbreak every year. I mean, you've done the runs today, finish after three hours. After that, can you rest before the 1 a.m. reset? Um, no, not really. Uh, I could, yes, technically. Uh, however... Um, it will fuck me for tomorrow. I, I'm very bad at napping. Um, so one nap, I should be okay. Like, having one nap after 4am before I start work, uh, I should be reasonable. I'll be tired as hell, but I'll be reasonably okay. But if I have a nap between 10 and 1am and then try to have another nap, I will not wake up. I will sleep through and then I will get in a lot of trouble for my workplace. So no, it's just not happening. Um, I know how my body works and it's not possible. I, if it was possible, I'd be doing it, basically. Like, uh, people need to have some faith in my ability to know what I can do and what I can't do. <laughs> uh, clean the house and oh boy, that was a decent workout. Well done, Sam, well done. Oh, look, I won. Not rigged. Definitely not rigged. I have opened a ticket with Streamlabs. 
about the currency though. I've had another glass of water. I'm sitting in a litre for today. Go me. But yeah, I have um I have no more water left in here, so I'll have to take a chair stream later to, to refill that. Um I could stay up until 1am, do another run to get up for work. Six to three work days. Too much for that decent sleeping. Totally fair. Totally fair. Yeah, it's definitely an individual choice. Um <laughs> about whether or not to, to do those extra, the 15th day of runs. Oh, excuse me. Ah, uh, can we have more battle plans? Quest says 10, gonna need a lot more battle plans. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Ah, uh, forgot that Let we had a new battle. With my Sorry. Sources. My bad. No. I can turn in a couple quests, actually. Let's go do that, because that list is enormous. Placed my three barbarians. I got saint scrolls. Uh, tactician's mind, 100 gold. Perfect. All right. Ah, uh, this mount doesn't exist for me. Oh, it will. It will. We just have to be persistent. Just have to be persistent. I hope you're having a lovely day today, MVP. I think you should be lots of cute Lalafell pictures. Fantastic. The Lalafell just, they're not right. Something's not right. Uh, they made me uncomfortable. Um, it's kind of that whole, um, uh, the, what's it called? Uncanny Valley thing. They just don't look right somehow. So yeah, they make me really uncomfortable. Don't like them. Teach their own. How do you feel if they increase the 0.3% drop rate? I wouldn't mind. Maybe I'd get it. Uh, just keep in mind though, that blue post did not mention a drop rate increase at all. In fact, it didn't mention the drop rate. All it said was a solution that they are looking at and they're discussing potential solutions. That could be an increase in the drop rate. It could be an alternate method of getting it. Uh, it could just be making it more fun, more interactive. Uh, the actual run itself, like it, it, the 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 solution wasn't for the drop rate either. It was it's not a fun experience, and so they're looking for a solution to the fact that it's not a fun experience. Um, the fact that WoW had stuck the words drop rate and solution in the title has misled most of the player base, which was their clickbaity intent. Um, it made them lots of money via ad uh, revenue because of all the clicks. So, yeah. But just keep in mind that that's n they did not mention that at all whatsoever. Uh, but yeah. Um, I spent 600 hours with her. Fantastic. Good for you. Uh, I stupidly transferred a bunch of gold to Demon Hunter. Says I had a hate play style. I'm stuck in the chamber of night. Can't send it back to myself and delete the tune. Where, where are you stuck in the chamber of night? What does that mean? Um... I'm not a fan of all for either, but hey, whatever. Yeah, like to each their own. Like I've got no, no bad feelings. Good lord, no, just um, just not my, not my cup of tea in the slightest. I uh, also think, it, yeah, it is a zero point zero zero three. Correct. One in three thousand three hundred and thirty-three. Much lower than. Uh, yeah, math is fun. Uh, it's still not a thing I see. Nope. Nope. Uh, it's not. I think holiday mounts to be dropped from all bosses. Huh? Your chance in all con- Oh! As in like, so kind of similar to the way that the, uh, the infinite time reaver works. Um, so like, but not just for time walk walking dungeons, like literally any raid or any dungeon or anything that you do. That'd be very interesting. Um, but there would be- oh shit, I'm in the wrong spec again. Good lord. Um, the only issue I would see with that is um, finding a way to prevent people from just running, um, like, uh, oh, fuck, what's the one in Orgrimmar called? 
There's the one in Orgrimmar and the one in Stormwind that are really, really low level. Like, what's to stop somebody from just running it endlessly and endlessly? Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like that's going to be... Unless they're fine with that. If they're fine with that, then great. Awesome. Go nuts. Uh, but if it's... If they don't want people to exploit it in that way, then they'd have to find a way to stop that. Um, but hey, they've got a year. And they were talking about all holiday mounts as well, not just the Heartbreaker. So that's fun. Um, I'm pretty sure I have all the other ones, but they are talking about all holiday mounts. And I presume that that involves the um, Infinite Time Reaver as well, because it's technically time walking is a holiday. It just happens to be a weekly holiday. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, Rage Frag Chasm, that's what I was thinking of, thank you. Um, um, could be that if anyone had 2k trials already, people would just get it in the mail. Well, there's, like, one of the things that I've thought of before in regards to things like the Shah Mount, having a bad luck protection currency drop, so that every single time you kill Shah, you get a bind to account currency one singular piece right and then you can purchase the mount for 2000 pieces so if you've done 2000 attempts and the mount still hasn't dropped you can buy it you know do you know what i mean like a, like a bad luck protection type thing so you could do that have a a piece of rocket you know a piece of goblin tech or something like that a pink piece of whatever drop from those boxes and have it be bind on account and when you've and have it con persist through years, obviously, because if you've got one account, um, that's 700, and one, one full account, uh, it's 750 attempts over the 15 days. Um, so you, and once you get 3,333 of them, you can turn those in and purchase the, the Heartbreaker. Um, that would be a potential, like, that, that's a possibility. Um, but yeah, considering that it's a 1 in 3,333, if you've got 2,000 attempts, that's not even, you, do you know what I mean? Like, it's still not yeah. Not quite close yet. Uh, can't seem to finish the question here. Oh, that's a bit strange. That's not good at all. Uh, enjoy your lurk, Zuko. Good morning, Haley. Visions, maybe current content only? Potentially. Eventually, RFC and Stockades. Yeah, Stockades I remembered the name of, but, um, I was having trouble with the name of, um, of Ragefire Chasm, so appreciate that. Thank you, guys. Uh, disclaimer on the content, you must be able to give XP. Yeah, that's another thing. Um, so yeah, current content only. Um, but lower level content for level 50s and stuff as well. And the Shadowlands at your current level. All holiday mounts being able to drop from all holiday bosses might be a better idea. Well, they do drop from all holiday bosses. There's only one holiday boss here. You're talking about maybe getting three boxes each run, because there's three bosses. But technically it's just, it's a council boss. It's still one boss. Council bosses in raids and stuff still give the same amount of loot as a single enemy, you know? Um, but they could, uh... Oh shit, wrong button. Eh! There we go. Um... Losing my mind, four minutes per run, I won't make my runs. And queues are slow, yeah, the, clue, the queues are slow. Um... The queues are slow. Um, getting 50 through in three hours takes pretty fucking quick queues. The DPS queues are the worst, and that's why I go through them first. Um, get them done, and then the rest of the queues tend to be pretty quick. But, yeah. Bloody bosses have higher chances in all current content. Be 0.1. Um, maybe. Except that, again, it is 0 0.003 that it is currently. Um, not 0 0.3. Um, I make the holiday mount special. Oh, right, as in all... Ho okay, I get you. So having the Halloween mount be able to drop on in Valentine's Day. Yeah, I, I agree with that as well. It's not... I don't think that's... That does, like... Hmm, yeah, not a not a huge fan of that particular solution. Um, but hey, it's an idea. Uh, I've always been a fan of tokens for these things. You have the time to fo and focus to run this a thousand times. There should be a currency for it. 
Bad luck protection currency be cool. Yeah, holiday coins. Yeah, exactly. So it's it's like the tokens we get the the cards, right? The the what are they called? Love tokens, right? Except a different one that is only for the heartbreaker. Does that make sense? Like you get a separate one that only drops from the heart shape box if you are 50 plus, and it only ever drops one, but you are guaranteed to get that one. And it is Blizzard battle it's it's Blizzard account bound. So that all your different alts can put them all onto one tune, so that when you have done 3,333 total runs across your account, and you don't have it still, you can go buy it. Because that at least, at least that way you're working towards an end goal. It's not every single attempt has a chance. Because I mean, I at this with this rate, I could get to 20,000 attempts and not have a fucking mount. Granted, that's going to take me over a decade to do like over two decades actually, but it would, st it would suck. It would suck. Uh, imagine is farming this every year for the past decade and still not having it. Yeah. I love token things by the heartbreak from the lot of Vanda. No, because the love tokens are for a whole lot of other things because, and you can earn 3,333 of them real fucking quick, real fucking quick. If you put the effort in, uh, you can also turn in the bracelets one one bracelet is one token and that's an endless turn in so no because that's still i mean you're grinding it out sure but um i'm if i if we're talking specifically bad luck protection tokens then it would be very very highly specific that this token can only purchase this mount and nothing else uh but i wouldn't be opposed to the, uh, the love tokens being able to be used to buy them anyway and just an exorbitantly high amount of them so that you need to put in the grind um yeah Oh, I had that luck with Hoidless Horseman too. Uh, uh, get a pink scrap for each attempt after you have three, 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 three pieces of it by the mount. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I've been saying about having a mount vendor that you can exchange mounts you already have for tokens and it rotates with retired mount. Oh, that's kind of funky. So, like, if you get a duplicate Ashes of Allah and you've already got one, you can go and sell it to this particular vendor for a piece of currency. That's actually a really cool idea. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Hey, it's okay going. Welcome on in. I know they'd make it soulbound and not BOA though. No, a lot of a lot of the um, uh, bits and pieces these days are BOA, especially for something like that when they know they're encouraging you to run it on alts. There'd be zero point to running it on alts if they were soulbound. So no, they wouldn't do that. Like that's just that's just a lie. That's just bad faith. Like, come on now, come on. Maybe you don't like the devs, but they're not that bad. Um, why also we might probably need to level level 60 next year unless new expansion won't increase max level. Well, we we don't think we're going to see an expansion this year. Like, um, the amount of time that it takes to do... That's... Why am I getting... Done, why am I getting DPS cues? This is really weird. No wonder they're taking so long. I don't think we'll see a new expansion this year. Uh, we're like, we're already, we know we're getting a 925. We know that. Um, so having an, a 92 and then less than six months later having a 925 and then less than six months later having an expansion, they'd need to announce it like on Thursday. Um, oh shit, weapons. They'd have to announce it on like Thursday for that to be, um... These are the weapons I had. Yeah, there we go. Um, yeah. I, I don't think they're going to do that. Um, I'm anticipating probably June, July next year. Um, this is this entire expansion has been developed with COVID gumming up the works. Um, so it makes sense that they'll take a few extra months to to get it to the level that they want it. I, I highly doubt that we'll get um, an expansion this year. Uh, what if the bad luck token improved your drop chance via an aura? That's a really... Ooh, that's an interesting concept, Tokies. Oh, that's 1530. All right, so I'm switching servers. Which also means switching factions to get around the 10 instance lockout. If you didn't know, the 10 instances per hour lockout 
is per is per server, not per account. You're welcome. Uh, so I have 30 horde tunes on Saofang and 20 alliance tunes in a month all, so I can do 10 oh, Saofang, 10 a month all, 10 Saofang, 10 a month all, 10 Saofang, and never have to stop. Don't have to wait for cool. Uh, don't have to wait for the instance lockout ever, uh, unless I'm getting really good queue times, which hasn't happened. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's actually that's a really cool idea. Hmm, curious. Uh, what do you think about this? You don't need to tag me, by the way. I do read everything. Like I read every message, so no need to tag. Um, you won't get token or anything, but your chan chance to get the mount would gradually increase by the amount you tried. Yeah, but they'd have to track that somehow, um, and they don't tend to track, like, unless it's in the statistics page, which I don't think Crown Chemical Co. is. Yeah. Um, yeah, unless, unless there's a statistic for it, they don't track it. It's only tracked by add-ons, which Blizzard doesn't base its buffs and debuffs on an add-on. They'd have to track it internally. Um, so it, I think that having the bad luck token, like, you know, you having it in your bags gives you a buff that increases your drop rate. I think that'd be more likely, but I don't think anything like it has existed in the game yet. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anything like that has existed in the game yet. So it would be an entirely new code, which would definitely take them a while to get right. Um, which would be very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, rarer the mount, the more tokens. Yeah, something like that. Uh, uh, why wouldn't we see an expansion this year? Because a two year turnaround cycle is what it is normally when they're not dealing with working from home and children and pets underfoot and home power outages and not being able to interact directly with your colleagues regularly and having half your workforce hospitalized with fucking COVID and all this kind of shit. And also not to mention lawsuits and do you know what I mean? Like, no, I, I highly doubt that we'll see this year. It also hasn't been announced. Usually uh, an expansion is announced at BlizzCon. Um, usually. Sometimes there have been exceptions to that. I think we've had one or two announced at E3 and stuff like that. But um, usually it's announced at BlizzCon uh, and then we get the expansion nine to ten months later. We're in February. Nine to ten months later is November, December. We don't have an expan we don't have a, an announcement yet. I doubt that they're gonna announce they're gonna drop it over the holiday period because their workers deserve time off too. Like over like if they drop an expansion halfway through December, you bet your ass all those devs are gonna have to work through Christmas patching and hot fixing and all that kind of shit that comes with a brand new launch because things behave differently in the internal system than they behave on a PTR, than they behave live. There's, there's stuff that you simply cannot get, bugs that you simply cannot squish until it goes live and you see how it behaves on a live system. Um, so I doubt that they're going to make their, their devs work through Christmas just to get it out this year. Um, you'd be more likely to see it at, um, like the earliest being like an end of January, maybe February sort of launch. I don't think they'll launch it in February. Like, they know that this is a big event for a lot of the player base and that the collector's player base is becoming larger and larger proportional, like percentage wise of the player base. So I doubt that that's when they'd release it. Um, so you'd be looking at end of January or March. Um, but I still think that giving themselves till June or July next year is, like, you, you're far better off giving yourself more time than you need, than pushing for a march and then having to delay it, like they did with Shadowlands. Like, y'all, I'm sure you all saw the vitriol and hate leveled at the developers who did not fucking deserve it, can we just put that out there? Um, they didn't deserve it at all. Uh, but it happened, and I would imagine that they're looking to avoid having to do that two expansions in a row. Um, but, I mean, look, I don't have inside information. I don't know anything that you guys don't, like, I know what you know, basically. Unless one of you does have insider information, in which case I don't know that. Uh, <laughs> and I assume you've probably signed an NDA. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I, I don't think we'll see one this year. Uh, I think it'd be too pushed, I think it'd be too rushed, and I think um, they don't want 
to do that. They wouldn't want to sign off on something like that. But who knows? We might get an announcement for an expansion on Thursday. And uh, they might push, 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 and we have a, you know, we have a, a release in November, but we'll see. Uh, I, I think, honestly, um, I think the perfect timing would be to have 925 launch uh, somewhere towards the end of October. Because it's not a major major content patch, so it doesn't matter if it in, in, intersects with a major um, like world event, like Halloween, Halloween's End. Um, so having 925 launch towards the end of October, uh, then having a relaunch of BlizzCon potentially in person, uh, and have beta for the new expansion running on the machines on the floor at BlizzCon, and then once the BlizzCon weekend is over, send out beta invites to people at home. I think that honestly would be a fantastic move from them, um, like lining things up wise and building hype wise. Uh, but I don't know because I don't work for them. So we'll see, won't we? All we got to do is hurry up and wait. Uh, give me just a second to bear to, to report this person who has been banned because they're breaking Twitch toss. Um, thank you, Shiba, for the ban, BT dubs. Uh, chat message, spam. Cool. Thanks for that. Uh, all right. Next expansion will be August twenty twenty three. Ah, there you go. There you go. Pretty much, I think you were discussing how they could bring back the old recruiter friend mounts and old store mounts. Yeah, absolutely. The expansion isn't until next year. I booked all but one day holiday for this year. Oh, August next year is entirely too far away. I would agree with that. I think that'd be the absolute latest. Like, if there was a delay, it would be in August. I think it'd be more likely to be like that June, July. I also, I feel like, because um, when they're talking about the Microsoft buyout, right? Um, they've got to go through all the industry hoops and all that kind of stuff. But assuming that that's all successful and uh, the, the buyout goes through, um, it will probably happen as the financial year ticks over from from 20, uh, from 22, 23 to 23, 24. Financial year ends June 30, and the new one starts July 1st. For anyone who's not involved in like financial stuff, if you didn't know, that's, that's when the financial year ticks over. Um, so having the expansion out the door, done and dusted, prior to the official changing of hands at the higher echelon, like the upper echelons of the uh, building, company, whatever. Um, I think that would, like, again, I, I don't know, but it feels like that would be a more advantageous thing to do rather than handing it over and being like, by the way, you need to oversee a launch right now. Uh, so I'm kind of leaning towards like start of June being like you know or or like one of you know how they say like on or before may 31st 2023 like one of those kind of deals that way they've got a little bit of room room, bleh, room to move if they do need to delay it because we get another strain of covid or some bullshit like do you know what i mean good lord the world is fucked um but yeah so that's kind of that's what i'm thinking personally but that's just my opinion and that's like i've explained what those uh, thoughts are based on and you are free to agree or disagree or hope differently. Obviously free to free to do all that kind of stuff, but that's just kind of where I'm thinking it would feel right, given what I have experienced from from prior launches. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, not even COVID, bad system. So many of my friends quit after season one. Um, but is it though? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's a long time because they've said that there's not another raid coming for Shadowlands. 9-2 is the final content patch. We're not getting a 9-3 unless they change their mind, which they are allowed to do, obviously, but we're not getting a 9-3. So having over a year and a half of one content patch is not good for business. So yeah, I think it, I think it is a bit too long. It felt like a second job or chore. Fair enough. Um, I, I haven't been feeling that way, but I enjoy different parts of the game than a lot of people do, so, um, you know, each their own. What the fuck is going on? Are the queues broken again? They better bloody not be. Four minutes as a tank or a healer or a DPS. Something is wrong. F 
fucking told you. Uh, would we get a different classic, like Wrath classic, around the time of 925? Potentially. Potentially. That is, um, like, it makes sense. Uh, it makes sense for them to drop, like, one year retail, one year classic, one year retail, one year classic. Uh, yeah, it, it would make sense to do that, yeah. Um, but I don't know. I, like, I, I can't tell you for sure, but it would make sense. Uh, I didn't even know that was like that. There is! Yep, ten instances per hour. Uh, if you try to enter it, if you're, if you're grinding something that takes, like, if you're farming an instance, it's real quick. After you've done ten in the space of an hour, um, when you try to lo zone in for your eleventh, it'll say, too many instances. You have entered too many instances recently. Um, yeah, looking at the longest raid tier by, like, five months at that point. Yeah. Yeah. Felt like I had less chores to do in previous two expansions. Not being able to grind player power was a great choice. Uh, for some, obviously, others play differently, and that's okay. They're allowed to not enjoy it. Uh, they're allowed to leave and play something different. Uh, just like we're allowed to keep enjoying it. Uh, wasn't bad luck protection for that fox mount from Legion. Wasn't there bad luck protection on that pet from Legion? Um, there, there have been. There was also bad luck protection for the legendaries in Legion. It just wasn't something we could see. It was something that they said was implemented on the back end. We're talking about other potential. Um, what on earth happened? There we go. We're talking about other potential ways to do BLP. Bad luck protection for first or few first few legendaries in Legion. They could do filler like brawlers give without having to do too much. Yep. Yeah, people can't sling cues on last day. Should be ban bannable offense. Why? Oh, as in like dropping out. Ah, oh, things come up. If you're if you're trying to do your runs and you have, for example, a child, um, and the child all of a sudden starts screaming and yelling because they've injured themselves, you need to drop out of a queue to go take care of them. Would you rather than go get sucked into the instance and then stand there and do literally nothing and make the dungeon take seven minutes instead of the approximate thirty seconds? Like, I know what I'd prefer. <laughs> Ah, uh, idea came from my annoyance of a pet not dropping from Paragon chest, getting the mount each time and missing out on a store mount. Oof. Rough. Yeah. Did we get Brawler's Guild Alliance? I don't think we ha- I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh, probably announce it together with 925. Potentially. Potentially. Uh, get an announcement this fall. Specifically remember them doing that because people were complaining about being benched on their raid teams because they didn't have a legendary or the right one. Yeah. Yeah. And then eventually they added in the currency where you could, like, buy the one you wanted. Which also works. Uh, Beyond, Seeker, Durin, Fair, Axiom, a uh, Fairy, Axiom, Bod, V, Draz, and Zombie. Congratulations on your bonus shit. Oh shit, I'm in goddamn enhancement again. Fuck. Uh, I have chain heal. That'll do. Shouldn't be taking too much damage anyway. These things are dying extremely fast. Sorry guys, give me a second. No, move out of the purple. At least I'm trying to do- like, even if I'm in the wrong spec, I'm trying to do what I'm supposed to be doing. Ugh. I just assumed I'd still be in healer spec, but I obviously switched to try to do some transmog farming yesterday. Uh, alright. Can't place a bomber, I can place tanks. Where's my tanks? There we go. Place your units. Cool. On to the next one. Uh, nope. New patch uh, is for a while then. Indeed. A little while. Legion was announced. Gamescom August 2015. Game launched August 2016. They go a whole year from, from announcement to launch. They go. Oh, honestly, just look at what Final Fantasy and now last I've packed it. It's in your figure out. Mass and release stuff. Why comparing to Final Fantasy and Lost Ark? I think it'd be more accurate to compare to prior announcements and launches of WoW patches, right? I mean, even with COVID and stuff in there. Uh, 
like the entirety of Shadowlands has been during COVID, so we can still look at these patches and we'll be okay to, to compare that way. Um, I think, you know, other games might have different expectations and KPIs and stuff, whereas WoW has their own and we can, you know, compare like to like. Apples to apples. Ah, uh, play by regardless, I addicted hope it'll be good, of course, of course. Remember that too, it was the first time I ever heard them attach the term bad luck protection, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the code is there. 925 will probably launch around the time they expect the Hall of Fame to be filled. Yeah. Yeah. Which takes a couple months, but not too, too long. I uh, need to make custom Earth religion pairs easy to get. Can't play my mount because I can't get LFR Q for Stone Lake. Oof. Yeah. Look, having those legendary powers also be attached to a current raid, like to attach them to a, a raid boss in Sanctum as well, honestly, I think would have been a good idea, even if it's only an LFR. Because that way, if it's something, because, you know, how many people run old raids and, do you know, it's, I'm sure that, you know, you get it because you've been doing it. Um, that could have been a good idea. But maybe they'll learn, you know, hopefully the idea is that they, they see that a mistake has been made and they learn for it from, learn from it for future content so the rando power thing is for it means i need a rep grind i mean i mean they should definitely look into fixing that having raids of the only drop is silly isn't there one from covenant hall as well if he broke the queues again apparently it was like ward 6-1 released for 2015 legion out to 2016 30 minutes 30 minutes for what sorry cb I know I'm a little, I'm a bit behind on chat. I'm five minutes behind, so I'm not sure what you mean by 30 minutes. I'm getting instant Q and EU servers. Nice. Awesome. I'm getting instant Qs for healers now that it actually realizes that I was queuing as well. It, there have been a couple of bugs with queues this event where like uh, I'll queue as tank healer and DPS and I'll sit there for seven minutes and it'll stick me in as DPS kind of thing. Like it's really odd. Um, but it seems like dropping out of the queue and then re-queuing kind of helps sometimes, so that's kind of, yeah, that's what we've been doing. Ah, uh, 62 released in June, and then... Welcome back, Chaos. Good Arvo. Okay, hello. Welcome back. Um, bonus shit. Nice yeah, battle plans again. I can definitely do that. Can you just give me a second so that nobody dies? Thank you for the reminder. I appreciate it. Much appreciated. This is my last round of Alliance tunes though, so hopefully it'll continue to go a little speedily. We'll see how we go. There you go. There's your battle plans. Enjoy. Ah, uh, it's not good. Three movies on the cinema I want to watch and I can't decide. Why not all three? I know that's expensive as fuck though. Uh, I lined up 9 2, the Final Fantasy reopening, same with 9 1 5. Um, that is interesting. It feels to me like they shouldn't do that kind of stuff, like they should stagger things for other games. Um, to try not to, like, you know, like let people play this and then, you know, kind of cycle through the MMO so that everyone gets all the money, but oh well. I want to come back from 9 2, just get sucked back in when 80 days played in three years was already a lot fair. Fair enough. Uh, am I right in thinking EU there's only 34 minutes left on attempts? Unsure. Unsure. Uh, they go, Mad, Mad has said yes. Uh, I spent the day sitting on the couch watching TV show for the summer. She used to hang out with the kid and it was a nice experience. Can I say it was to just watch TV, you know, now it's 12.30. I should probably go to bed. Indeed, Shiba. Indeed. Uh, nope, 10, 10 runs per hour per server. Not 30 minutes. Um, how many alliance tunes to go just on here now? Ah, uh, five. Five more to go. Uh, I've got the, the five of them up here. Um, definitely seems to be healer cues currently, because the tank is taking a while. Ugh. Oh, crunch. 
Good lord. I'm gonna turn the air come back on, because it is a worm. There we go. Good evening, Trud. How you doing? Heart. Okay, I can do that uh, later. A um, little bit preoccupied at the moment. Uh, what's your favorite WoW music track? Oh, that's a really good question. A really good question. Um, fuck. Um, I don't think I can I'm answer not that. Paladin, uh... I'm definitely not a paladin. Um, I don't think I can answer that. I think there are too many soundtrack like too many pieces of music in the game that I absolutely adore uh, and also I don't know where all of them belong I just hear them and my brain knows them and so I go along with them like sing along with them um, but I the wow soundtrack is phenomenal I don't think there's a single piece of music in the game that I don't like so yes there's that <laughs> um uh oh, fears the tank. I thought I was. I was the tank. I was. Uh, not too bad. Just had dinner. Fantastic. I hope it was delightful. Good evening, dupe. Welcome back. I'm a sucker for Stormwind's music, for sure. Help with the AM shift cues. Probably we'll about till 2 a.m. Fantastic. I will likely, you know, hopefully I go to bed at regular stream end time. But if RNG Jesus decides to continue being not particularly kind to me, I would love for RNG Jesus to be wonderful and just give me the mount. Because, like, come on, I put in the work. Let's let's do this. Uh, but if he doesn't, then I will likely be here till 4 a.m. Uh, my time, of course. That's Brisbane time. So 5 a.m. for the uh, Melbourne Sydney folks. Um, I'll break it if the mount is pink. The mount is indeed pink. Uh, let me some Alliance Tavern music. Nice. Uh, although I mean, ah, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Tidy him up. Soundtrack is tasty. Agreed. Agreed. Jade Forest music for the win. Brilliant. So many amazing soundtracks. Fun fact, in UGO there is no monster with the combination. Fire attribute, fish type. Probably, because if they went in the water, the fire would go out. I got six characters left this year. Well done, Haley. Well done. I've got 14 left in this batch of runs. And then I've got the 50 to go through again after daily reset at 1am. For day 15. If it doesn't drop. Only if it doesn't drop. Um, yeah, let's hope you get it. I really do hope I get it because I really don't want to be up until 4 a.m. because I have work tomorrow. Um, and I only I work two days a week and tomorrow's payroll day and I really good god. I just look, 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 look. Look, I'm a bit of a sleepy already, but <laughs> I have a bottle of coke in the fridge for when I start losing my mind later this evening. And I have another bottle of coke in the fridge for tomorrow when I need the caffeine to get me through. 
Oh, I don't drink coffee before anyone suggests it. It is gross. I don't like it. Too bitter. I'm a sweet tooth. Oh, that's okay. I put the night song on in my airlines. Garrison's as far as soundtracks go, fantastic. Have you kept count of how many attempts, total attempts on all tunes you've had over this, uh, this here, this bar here? Um, that's rarity. It does it for me, so I don't have to think. But yeah, um, when we started the attempt this year, I had 850 attempts. Um, 50 tunes across 15 days means that I will have done 750 attempts this year, which makes for a total of 1,600. If I have to get through all of them. If. If. Uh, have you tried coffee? <laughs> Hello, Loza. Might need more than two bottle. I don't really want more than two bottle. I'll just, if that doesn't go too well, I'll um, I'll get payroll done and then call my boss and be like, hey, I'm fucked. I need to sleep. <laughs> Uh, what about extra strong tea with milk sweetener and tapioca pearls? Ooh, that sounds delicious. That sounds delicious. Let me guess, Queensland. It does say that in my bio. Like, <laughs> I'm originally from Melbourne, though. Uh, Victorian by birth. Queenslander by residence. Uh, um, same hate the same coffee. I love the smell of it. The smell is amazing and incredible, but the taste is just, it's too bitter. I can't, I can't do better very well. But that's okay. You know, each their own means there's more coffee for you lot who love it. That's good, right? Uh, such flavorings as vanilla and hazelnut and coffee. I'm aware of that. It doesn't mean it doesn't taste like literal dirt juice though. <laughs> like, come on, I'm not an idiot. I've been a barista. I've worked with it day in day. Like I'm aware of the different kinds of coffee that you can have. I know that mochas exist. But it just, it tastes like dirt juice. No matter what you add to it, it tastes like dirt juice. Sweet dirt juice. Or milky dirt juice. Still not nice. <laughs> but that means there's more for you guys. So, yeah. Trust me, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. It's the lamb sauce. Ah, <sighs> you fucking asshole of a toy. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, coffee, no milk, no sugar for me. Totally. Go for it. It's commitment to a man. Absolutely. Also, add grass jelly. Can't. Um, at home, they don't do grass jelly. Uh, Vic at the moment. Trade the states. I'd love to. Uh, all my family still lives in Victoria. And uh, this weekend, I managed to finally... I got a chance to see my mum and my stepdad and my stepbrother. I hadn't seen any of my family face to face for two years and two days. Uh, longest I've ever been in my life without seeing my family face to face. And I'm, I'm 32. So like, yeah. Uh, I'm yeah, so fucking grateful for the chance to have seen them this weekend. It's been, it was amazing. Exhausting, but amazing. <sighs> Dirt juice. Yeah, that's what it tastes like to me. Smell is beautiful, taste is gross. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Too toxic. Sure, have fun. Bye. <laughs> I fear coffee tastes disgusting. Yeah. And look, and I'm I've no judgment to those who enjoy it at all whatsoever. It's just not for me. And that's okay. Not everyone has to like everything. Uh it looks like dirt juice as well. <laughs> it can sometimes, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I oh, love that saying, dirt juice. It just, it does, you know? It just, I don't know. I don't know. It's the only thing I can explain, the only thing I can think of to explain accurately what it tastes like to me. Uh, but yeah, I mean, no offense to coffee lovers. Most of my family loves coffee. I'm definitely the odd one out. Um, but yeah, give me a chai latte any day and I'll take that instead. Hmm, took me ages to get used to it. Dirty juice, let's go. No, let's not go. You guys can go. I'll stay here. <laughs> Dirty juice is how I describe tea. Tea is grass juice. <laughs> like bad tea, it, like cheap tea that's been overbrewed is grass juice. To me. But like if you, if you brew it 
for me, if if I brew it correctly, like for the right amount of time and don't squeeze the bag out at the end and all that kind of stuff, I can get tea to be really, really tasty, like really nice. Um, but the moment you overbrew it for even like 15 seconds, all those tannins and it makes it taste dry and bitter. And it tastes like grass. <laughs> it tastes like grass juice. Uh, but hot leaf juice. <sighs> but yeah, no, that's... um. Tea has to be, like, I, I literally set a timer when I start brewing tea to make sure I don't overbrew it. And I set the timer short so that the time it takes me to actually get back to the cup and strain it, all that kind of stuff, it's still not overbrewed, yeah. Or oversteeped or whatever the, I don't fucking know what the word is. But you know what I mean. You get it. Oh, shit, I need to switch to prot. There we go. But yeah, that's the, uh, what's that saying? It's not an airport, you don't need to announce your departure. They want attention. That's all. I just, I find the, the, the use of the word toxic to be kind of entertaining. Um, more of a hot chocolate or tea drinker? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm just not generally a hot beverage person. I do love me an iced chai. I had, ooh, when we went out for brunch uh, on Sunday, with, with mum and stepdad. Uh, I had an iced chai with soy milk because it was a, I knew it was gonna be a decent serving and if I drink like more than just a small cup of like cow's milk, my tummy gets a little upset. I don't think I'm actually lactose intolerant, like I've never been tested, but I know what makes my body feel bad. So I don't eat it or drink it like, you know? So, but I do really love a chai with soy. I think the soy milk specifically really adds an extra layer to the flavor and I really, really enjoy it. So yeah, I had an iced chai with soy and fuck me, it was good. It was a good drink, holy dr oh, mm. yum. Very good. Uh, I found out I was actually just trying all forms of milk, so she ended up just having it without anything and I love it now, fantastic. There you go, right. That's the Alliance tunes done. We're switching back to Horde on Saofeng for the last 10 runs of day 14 of Lita. Lita stands for love is in the air, by the way. Yep, good. You're welcome. All right. Hello, Amir. How am I? I am well, thank you. How are you today? I hope you're doing very well. Welcome to chat. Um, just take the tablets, Trud. They work wonders. I am Iranian. How can I play well? I don't know. I'm... Uh, is... Kind of, I've kind of assumed that WoW has just been kind of available globally, but then obviously China didn't allow it for the longest time, so it's kind of, I'm not too sure. Um, I don't know, you'd have to ask Google that one, unfortunately. I don't have any experience with playing World of Warcraft from Iran. Um, uh, soy Charlotte, yeah, I know, I did, hey, I did clarify. Coffee lover and I find it hilarious, brilliant, good. The entire office except me loves coffees, can't stand either the taste or the smell, oh no! Oh no, Ice Chai is even greater, oh it's so good. Like coffee, but tea is stick water. Fair. Fair. There are definitely teas that I think are trash. And then there are teas that I think are magic in a cup. Um, I feel like there's such a wider range of tea than there is. I know that coffee, I know that coffee has a wide range. Don't get me wrong. There are all the, you know, the different origins of beans and like you can have mixed origin and different ways of brewing it and then different ways of mixing it with cream or milk or water or blah, blah. There, there are so many different ways to enjoy coffee. I get that. Um, but it's always from a coffee bean. Whereas tea, you can brew from like technically not fruit, that's a tisane, but it's still, you know what I mean? There are just so many different types of tea leaves and and like you can have tea with milk or without, or you can have it iced and hot and like just so many like rubos and uh, oolong and black and green and white and, and just all the kind of, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, oh, 51. Which character am I on? Yalka. Yalka is 51. I feel like there are just so many different types of tea compared to how many different types of coffee there are. But that might just be my bias as a, a tea drinker rather than a coffee drinker. Um, I'm a huge dirt juice fan, honestly. Oh my God, I love, I love that that's a thing now. I, this makes me happy. This makes me happy. Uh, I'm a huge dirt juice fan, honestly. My plan is to get to bed earlier tonight so I can't have one and then come back at 2am. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Colleagues make fun of me frequently the whole, would you like some coffee with your sugar milk for how sweet and weak I have my coffee? Oh, fuck that. That's more coffee for them. Good Lord. 
You have a dash of coffee in your cup, it means they don't have to brew more for longer. Let people enjoy their things. Mmm, grass juice. I mean, I mean, they do have, like, wheat grass juice, so wheat grass shot is a literal thing. But, um... Look. Mmm, I'm British and hate tea. Coffee is good, but chai latte is... Yes, agreed. Chai, chai latte is love, is life, is... Yep. Yeah. Chai is the bestest. I should probably disclose here that cinnamon is probably my favorite thing in the world, though. And so chai, yeah, look. Look. But welcome in, OG Thumbless. Hope you're having a lovely day. Five minutes in a healer, five. This is just testing me. Try dropping the queue and requeuing again, because there have been some bugs this event with queues not recognizing your um your role correctly. Like before I was in queue for five minutes with tank healer and DPS clicked. I left queue, joined again, and had an instant pop as a healer. Instant. If it hits anywhere north of like two minutes, leave queue and try again. Unless you're DPS, obviously. Don't you just reminds me of Blackadder. <laughs> Brilliant, good. Wow, hey Tiger. The proper term is overjuiced. Good. That's healer Q. This boss can be done. 40 PS, one healer. Too easy. Or one tank, 40 PS. The DPS have to actually pull their weight to be able to do it like that, though. And a lot of the time... and Which is okay. Like, a lot of these... Like, I don't know how to play half these characters. Oh! 51! Yabana. 51. Uh, same for me, last run of the year, done! Oh, mad. I'm so sorry. Better luck next year. Better luck next year. Oh, tea has the same aftertaste to me. It makes me nauseous after an episode when I was younger. Forever killed tea for me, which makes more free tea for you! Absolutely. Absolutely. That aftertaste, um, I know the one you speak of. And, uh, it kills me too. The, um, that's why I set my alarms for brew time. Because it's that dry, it's the tannins. It's the same thing that's in red wine. The, the dry, bitter sort of, what's it? Um, yeah, I always, I always end up underbrewing my tea so that it doesn't taste like ass. But, um, no, definitely. More for me. I'm happy with that. Uh, cheese hot chocolate and tea. Indeed, if I'm having hot chocolate, I need marshmallows in it or it's not the same for me. Fair. Fair enough. Uh, get your lactase enzymes tested out. Would be better for your health. Or I could just avoid dairy. Like, it does the same thing, right? The doctor's gonna tell if, if, if I'm lactose intolerant, what are they gonna, they're gonna say, avoid dairy, which is what I do anyway. So. <laughs> and the, the healthcare system is way overloaded at the moment anyway. Um, I'm better off just, yeah, for, for everyone involved. This has got banned in Iran in 2012, unless someone found news of the country. Of oh, okay. I didn't know that. There you go. Noted. You can't. That sucks. Uh, just be sure to get consent first before enjoying your tea. Yes, definitely. Probably VPN then, but they're probably illegal. Yeah, potentially. Um, yeah, I mean, it, even even if you could get a VPN and play a banned video game in your country, like, what's the risk of being found out? Like, is that worth it? Probs not. Probs not. I uh, love my dirt juice. Can't sleep without it. Fair. Fair. Give me a little coffee. Coffee. Adore cinnamon. Oh, it's so good, isn't it? Cinnamon is amazing. I'm the only one I've seen Black Adder goes forth. Potentially. I don't know. I don't remember. I might have, but I have a terrible memory. If you love cinnamon, does that mean you also enjoy horchata or are there not a lot of Mexican food in Oz? Um, there is, there is Mexican food in Australia, but I think it's the whole, like, westernized, uh, like, you know, like, yeah. Not quite the same sort of thing. We have burritos and tacos and burrito bowls and stuff like that, but, um, quesadillas and whatnot, but most of the Mexican joints are, like, chains, and so it's, yeah, I would assume that it's not the same. But no, I have not had, I'm, I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, but I've not had, uh, ho, 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 chata? Um, yeah, I'm assuming that I'm pronouncing it wrong, but I've never had it. Uh, I mean, coffee out of mud as the coffee ran out. You got a forum post from March last year. VPNs can work, but uh, there was a wave of bans of players in Iran last year. I can only assume it's because of sanctions. Probably. Uh, that's that. My heart's broken for another year. Oh, Phoenix. Better luck next time, yeah? What fucking DPS? Good lord. Okay. That's fine. Um, 
Was there a thing that you can make yourself lactose intolerant as well if you just avoid dairy completely? Not sure though. Um. Potentially. I mean, if you if you stop doing something that requires a certain enzyme, then your body will stop producing that enzyme. Um, but that doesn't mean that it can't start making that enzyme again later. Um, I don't know. Not sure. But I mean, if you want to avoid dairy for whatever reason, then I mean, sure, you know, why, why not? If it's something that you want to do for whatever reason, then that's up to you. Hello, Sark. It is, it is evening for me, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's morning for you. Not gonna be time zones, and that's totally okay. You are free to use whatever greeting is appropriate for your time zone. Or, as some people here say, good time zone. <laughs> uh, I'm not good either. Totally fine. Presented too quickly. Um, what, like Taco Bell? We do have Taco Bell here. Couple. Not too many. But no, I'm more thinking of uh, GYG, like Guzmani Gomez and um, Zambreros is another one. Um, we had Mad Max for a while, I think. I'm not sure if they're still around. Um, there are a couple that are here and there, but they're, they're still chains, but they're not as, not as um, prolific. Yeah. Patricia Mexican restaurants are hard to find, yeah. Yeah. Good luck for the rest of your tries. Thank you for not getting them out. Then I hope you do. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Fingers crossed. Everything crossed. Got my heartbreaker nails. I've got my lucky earrings on. Doing everything again. And again, dictionary episode of Blackout of the Third. I'm dead every time I watch it. My uh, pronunciation is good. Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Whew. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to piss anybody off, but when I genuinely have never heard a word said aloud, I'm like, how do I pronounce you? Yeah. Um, good time zone. I like it. It works, right? It works. I and some friends use good now as a greeting. I love it. Hey, Cola, are all the 50 characters capped? No. Uh, they're all 50 plus though. The lowest level character is level 50. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Words are hard. Like Jojoba. Yes. Jojoba is a, a very difficult word to pronounce. Or hojoba. You know, it's just fuck with it. It's fun. It's great. Seven attempts left for day number 14. Of course, we do have day number 15 at the crack of not even dawn yet. I'm gonna need to chair stream after these. <laughs> so, refill. My, to refill my drink and to make use of the facilities. Uh, how'd your hair turn out with the thingy and the stuff you're gonna do with it? I forget. Oh, the um, the curler. Um, yeah, I used it on Friday, and it was fucking awesome. It was really, really good. I haven't used it again since because I've just been a bit too busy. Uh, and today I wanted to focus on like I got a I got a few things done. I crossed a few things off my list, but then I wanted to focus on just chilling because I knew tonight was gonna be a long one. I knew tonight was gonna be big. Um, and I then have work tomorrow, uh, so I wanted to make sure that I was going to be at least reasonably okay. Uh, so I haven't had a chance to curl my hair again, but I reckon I might have time to do it on Wednesday for the 9-2 launch stream, because that'll be fun. Oh. Uh, right, weren't you going to put stuff in your hair or something and curl it? Was there oh, yeah, so I did wash it and I did put styling product in it, but then I didn't curl it. <laughs> so, um, tonight I'm, look, I think I'm going to take a shower after the ridiculously long stream anyway, uh, because I feel like the warm water and stuff will help me kind of get ready for sleep times, if that makes sense. Um, and so when I, when my, while my hair is wet tonight, I'll put the product in it so that tomorrow it'll be dry and then I can, yeah, have a play with it. But I do want to see if the curls hang around for a little bit longer if I put stuff in it. You're right. Um, so I haven't experimented with that bit just yet, no. Not yet, but I'm on my way. And for those of you who are wondering what the hell I'm talking about, I bought myself a portable hair curler device for my birthday. My birthday present to myself, because sometimes you gotta. 
And, um, yeah, it's awesome. I really like it. I really like it. Uh, speaking of presents, got another one today. One of the, one of the throne orders arrived today. And I'll show you in a second when these people stop dying. Because everyone seems to be dying and it's making me very uncomfortable. There we go. That was not me that dinged, that was somebody else. I got a bottle brush! Oh, <laughs> I got a bottle brush so I can finally actually clean out my, my bottles, my drink bottles properly. Um, which means I can be more prepared, I'll have multiple clean bottles and I can fill them all up before stream. Uh, and so I can have endless hydrates. But yeah, so thank you Zeren for my bottle brush, I'm very happy with it. Um, and then I also got, um, I got two packages today. Uh, Bjorn, Durin, Draz, Fairy, Axiom, Zombie, Ness, and Koala. Thank you, uh, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. And thank you, indeed, for, for placing units in the battles. Uh, go you. Um, uh, the second box I got today was from Bubble Tea Club because I had a pack of white pearls that had some kind of slime in them that was not appearing to be edible. So they replaced those and they also sent me a 10 pack of strawberry fruit tea with strawberry popping pearls to apologize uh, for the mishap, which was really lovely of them. Um, and Jas got a package today, which is a very unusual occurrence. Uh, but Jas got a package today and it was for me. <laughs> it was my birthday present. Uh, he bought me a birthday present uh, and I don't have it here with me. It's still in his room, but um, I have a, a mirror on my makeup desk that I sit and do all my makeup and stuff and it's battery powered and the batteries always die really quickly because it lights up so it's supposed to be able to help me see what I'm doing. Um, and it always gets really dusty and stuff because stuff settles on it. It's just kind of icky and yeah, it's rather old as well. I've had it for a while. Uh, and so he bought me a new mirror and it's beautiful and it's it's USB powered. So it's um like it won't, there's no batteries to die. I can just like, yep. And it also has like a cover on it and the cover folds out. So I have a mirror and then a second mirror and then two panels that are like magnified as well. So if I want to do like little intricate things, I can actually see up real close and, and yeah, I'm so happy. I'm really, really happy with that. So just did good. Did good. Uh, where are we? But yes, that's a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, look, endless hydrates. Endless hydrate sounds like a challenge. No, look, X knows. X knows that spam, like spam away. And most most people who have been here for a little while know that you can do all the redemptions for hydrates that you like. But if I get to the point where I'm like uncomfortably bloated and my body is not like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna poison myself like you know water poisoning how it's a thing I'm, I'm not gonna do that I'm not silly uh, I thankfully have learned the skill of being able to listen quite acutely to my body and if it needs me to stop doing something then I'll stop doing it but um and I'd refund the points no harm done but yes ah Dunno with the Fiamma flying rogue wonderful amazing I've been loving my new Fitbit. Ah, isn't it good? I found a clock face. We were talking because um, I had it yesterday. It arrived yesterday. I found a clock face that um, is really simple, but it also tracks your oxygen saturation overnight somehow. I know it's not accurate. I know it's not like medically accurate because it can't possibly be. It's a fucking wristwatch. But um, so it tracks that, but then I tap it and I see my heart rate. And I can tap it and see my step. Oh, wow. My steps for today. I've done almost 6,500 steps today. I'm doing pretty well. Um, my active minutes for the day, um, like as in exercise time, how many, st like how many floors I've climbed and then it goes back to the oxygen thing. But it's, yeah, it's really, it's nice and simplistic, but um, not, but it's still got some pretty colors, which I like because I like pretty colors. Hello, Dunno. Good evening. All the best of tonight. Thank you. Thank you. I've got six, um, six horde tunes left for day 14. Uh, and then of course we have day 15 from one till 4 AM tomorrow morning and we'll continue going until then, but we have to get there. We have to get there first. I do have snacks and some caffeinated beverage for later. What is going on? 
two minutes for a healer queue. It must be tank queues. Infinite stream. Not infinite stream. I can't do that. <laughs> I would die. Also, I'd probably get fired from my job. What the hell's going on? Right, that'd be why. It's because of the DPS. Fuck. God damn it. God damn it. It's really upsetting. That just dropped, so that's nice. Oh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, Q double zero is usually something weird happening. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know average means that some people are going to be in queue for longer, but for a healer queue, that's just really, that's really odd. Um, I didn't realize I had another person in the party. That would explain why. That's okay. Hmm. There we go. Took its sweet ass time. I'm all out of tanks. Yeah, I have. Um, I mean, everything left is either a tank or a healer or both. Um, but yeah, there's a bit of a mix. There is one that's only a healer, and then two that are only tanks, and then two that are anything. But that's okay. We're in, and that's what matters. Just seeing that, that I've been doing this for like two hours and 53 minutes and um, knowing that I've only got those three hours to get the 50 runs in, it's going to be tight and it's terrifying. It's terrifying. To kind of keep reminding myself that there is a little window there where I had the starting soon screen up and stuff like that, and just hope that that's enough. Hope that it's enough. Or oh, hope it drops in the next five fucking characters. It's like Thivin is gone. Oh, Haley. Yeah, at least I've got clear bags now. That's got to be the best, like opening your bags and just seeing everything gone. Like, done, finished. You don't have to delete anything. Like the bloody, um, the wands from the Halloween event, having to manually delete every single, ugh. I understand why they hang around for longer, but it still sucks. It still sucks. Sorry, I haven't got them out yet. Me too, Nano, me too, but that's okay. Look, it is what it is, hey. We'll get there. We'll get there. But, um, um, um. Yeah, it must be tank queues on board. That's okay. I had a couple of dings today though. I think three dings to 51. So that's nice. Five more runs and I can go to the bathroom. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> far out. Ah. 
Not a bad bonus way to go into Shadowlands, an extra level or two. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, like, my, my 50s, 60s, assuming that they all started at 50, which most of them did, uh, I'm 12.52% of the way to having 50, 60s. Because I've got, like, four 60s, I've got a 54, I've got two 53s, I've got one, two, three, three 52s, and probably 10 or so... 51s like it's I I'm it's not bad it's not bad at all uh, I just need four of us to create allied races monks are full queue the final 50 runs if it gets to that I would not be opposed to this, but also that's a lot to ask from a bunch of internet strangers. So, like, I mean, if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna fast cue me with with four tunes that we just pound through it all with, like, I'm not gonna complain. But um, yeah, like, just consider the commitment you're making. <laughs> Although with time zones and stuff, it might be a lot easier for some than for others, I guess. Um. No joy. I have boosts. Mm. Four to go. Come on, baby. Mama wants a mount. Good news is that final round in the morning, if I actually get through all of them, I reckon I'm gonna get a lot more 51s. Like a lot more. Um, because a lot of them are, like, super, super close, like, three bars away. <laughs> that has to be a good time for that bird creep and duck crest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm not sure what you're talking about, but that definitely, uh... All right, it's an entertaining mental image. Things you can immediately hear in your head. Good. You can hear in your head. Have you on one screen my laptop work on the other screen? Oh, wonderful, Sock! I'm glad we can keep you company during your work day. Hope we don't distract you too, too much. Though you may have some screams in your ear if the mount drops. Uh, I do apologize in advance for that, but like, honestly? Like, fair, right? <laughs> it's driving me nuts. Oh dear. Deary me. Some screams, it's putting it lightly. Look, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Just a mention of that, and it's there. <clears throat> Ready to go. I really wish I knew why. <laughs> because your brain is super fun and entertaining and likes making random connections that don't make any sense whatsoever. Actually, how many 
50 ones do I have now? 14. So four 60s, 154, 253s, 352s, 14 51s, and the rest are 50. It's not bad. Apparently a phenomenon called visual ear. Oh, that's cool. It's even a cool name. Oh, come on, Q-pop, I need to go bathroom. <laughs> uh, it's so strange. After today's stream, I'm taking the hearts down. How weird is that? Taking the hearts down. God, this, this event feels like it's gone on for simultaneously forever and not that long. No more hearts. I know. It's only for me because I cannot visualize whatsoever, but I can hear memory sources, etc. Oh, wow. We'll stay in our hearts, indeed. Feels like we should have another week of it. Except no, because I really want to sleep. <laughs> no, no more. Not until next year. We'll have them for next year. Even if the mount drops, we'll still have them up for next year. And uh, I do have little bunnies and carrots for Noble Garden. So, there's that too. It'll be super cute. It's starting to get hungry. Maybe missing the mind's eye if you have trouble visualizing. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> There are some people who can't even visualize colors. Like, um, I remember talking to, I think it was Siri, who was talking about like all the all the different um, cross stitch colors. Like they have all numbers assigned, right? And so, if you if you set a number, Siri could uh, could visual like would immediately know the word of what that was called, like dark plum, for example. But can't imagine the color. Can only really see it. Can't imagine it. Can't put it in the brain. Fantasia. Mmm. Super interesting stuff, hey? How differently all of our brains work. Two more. Two more. Dear old Melvin. Killer of keys, puller of packs. Melvin is wonderful. <laughs> mm. for the sound. I wonder if we're going to be able to get any other mounts tonight. <laughs> oh, Jess, right, okay. Yep. Yeah, it is an awesome sound effect, not gonna lie. I like it quite a bit. Oh, I hear kitchen noises. What other mounts are on your list? Uh, well, it's Mount Farm Monday, technically. So I do have a list of mounts from DFA, uh, Data for Azeroth, that I'm working through 
Um, once I'm done with these, we'll be heading over to the Alliance Tune to grind up Storm's Wake and Order of Embers rep. After I take a bathroom break and refill my water jug. Um, but yeah. Work through them. I, I grabbed all the mounts up to and including... Um, like on, so I, if you have a look at my profile on Data for Azeroth, so you search for Fiamma on Saofang, US. Um, I go into the mounts thing and I filter by, I, I, un, I take out all the mounts that are collected or collected on alts, and then I sort by rarity. Um, so most common to least common, and then I work through them in that order. However, um, I've done a bit of shuffling to make it a little more efficient, um, because... I've got a chunk of mounts and then an island expedition mount, and I could literally farm islands for liter for, for days on end and not get a mount. So everything up to and including the island expedition mount on the list, uh, I've organized it out. So I do all the alliance stuff first, and then I've got stuff that do gets done on alts, and then I've got um, anything that'll be done on Fear, uh, who is my main. So yeah, Storm's Wake, Alliance, uh, Reputation, Order of Embers Alliance Reputation, Valfir the Unrelenting, which is a Night Fae only drop, uh, so I have my Night Fae tune do that. Uh, Malbog, the Covenant Assault, if it's one that drops him out, because I don't have any of them. Tormentors of Torghast, sometimes I have to wait around for that, the timing to hit. Um, Harika the Horrid in Revendreth, High Mountain Paragon, Unshackled Paragon, Tolbarad Tokens, because I need to buy them out from there, and um, then Island Expeditions, until probably 1am when I start these rounds again. Uh, kill Bastlax and he instantly respawns. Don't get the kill. What? Ah! Oh. The way I had listening saying it's bugged wouldn't happen for me. Oh, Seeker. I'm so sorry to hear that. My kitchen noises equals moisten all the things. Yeah, look, you're not wrong. Torad, shut up. I have the rep but need tokens. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm, yeah, grinding out the, the tokens. I don't, there's the achievement for the uh, Another Day in Torbarad, which you need to do each quest, each daily quest once. The quests don't rotate anymore. They're bugged. They've been bugged for years. Uh, so, look, maybe one day I'll get that achieved. But I'm sitting on just over 100 tokens, so I'm getting there. I'm definitely getting there. You get quite a few, especially if we have, if we, if your faction has Tolbarad, you get an extra handful, of course. So that definitely speeds it up, but, yeah. It's gonna drop me in as a tank, is it? Yeah, yeah, I know. The thing is, though, once I grind it out, Sark, and I buy it, I never have to do it again. Until the right dailies pop up, in which case I will absolutely do it again. Maybe I should close all these, like, leave the queue in queue just as healer and see if I get the insta, insta pop. Because this looks a little bit ridiculous. I just started seriously looking at my eyes. Almost at 250! Oh, nice! Well done! In a lot of cases I have rep but need gold or tokens. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be, it'll be a lot of them. Um, but yeah, look, hey, 250 means you got a shitload of easy ones still to get. I'm at 641 at the moment. Yeah, the tricksy ones. If your mounts alone were like 2 mil. Yeah. Yup. This is, this is broken again. Mm. There we go. I think fucking did it. Yeah. Nice, Seeker. Well done. Two to use one character. Not sure overall. Maybe around 340. Gotcha. So I am... 496 character, 641 account. I love DFA. It's great. Oh no. Oh no, it's because I filtered it. Never mind. I was like, the numbers of the, the mounts have been reshuffled again, but they haven't. It's because I turned filters on before and I forgot to turn them off. Oops. Choose your own 
kill Chin and Jin so many times. I kind of don't want to kill her now. Aww. I mean, you can always just leave her there for a bit. Come back to her later, maybe. That was my 50th turn. What time is it? I have to do 1am. Yeah. Yay for steak. <laughs> oh god, that smells really good too. Oh my god. Steak. Yeah, <laughs> Try not to tip vegetables everywhere. Oh shit, how am I gonna put this into Fitbit? I don't know, like the weight of the stuff and things. So. It weighs a bit. Mmm. Baby, two. Da, da, that is like two da, servings da. of meat, technically. It's not. One serving of meat is the size of your palm. Yeah, but one serving of meat can also be like. No, wrong. Disc. Wrong. How, how much, would I? Plus how calories. much weight is one serving of meat supposed to be? It's no, depending on your body type, like depending on how large you are and stuff. Like it's supposed to be like one your your palm, like a piece of meat the size of your palm is meant to be one serving for you. Uh, steak. Most popular steak. This is not a hundred grams of steak. What would you call this? At least two hundred. Let's call it two hundred then. 200 grams. Jesus, that's a lot of calories. Okay, it is dinner. Log and add more. We have, um, I think that's, so it's mixed vegetables. Frozen without salt. It's definitely not 10 ounces. It's not one package. It's like... Maybe about 50 grams, I'd say. I'm gonna add more. And then I have barbecue sauce. Not dorse. Barbecue sauce. One serving. How much is one serving? I reckon I've done maybe two teaspoons of barbecue sauce. So let's log that. Oh, wow. Okay. So I'm going to go over my calories for the day, but that's okay. Um, I have 69 calories left. Nice. But I have probably got a bubble tea coming as well. I'm going to be back. I need to go to the fucking bathroom. So no, shit. I got to exit this first. Um, Run away, little girl. Run away. Killer, pillager, golden sea. I feel another day. Exactly. If you don't need the character slot, then what's, you know, you're good. I'm going to be back shortly. B. R. B.
want some of my jungle love. There we go. Tea bags are brewing. Um, which are not even perfectly aligned. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So I'm gonna go do my alliance rep stuff. You are not ah! prepared. Gems, thank you so much for the raid. How was your stream? How are you doing today? I hope you're doing very well. <laughs> and the battle's ready too. Perfect. going very well thank you I have not got the heartbreaker but that's okay I'm gonna do another set of attempts between 1 and 4 a.m. tomorrow morning so we're gonna be live for a while you're on okay so the link that you've popped in Val has come through as a couple of asterisks because we have link protection enabled here but I'm assuming you're talking about the battle net launcher yes I am on the battle net launcher it's amazing. I've had so many, I've met so many wonderful people through this opportunity. It's been wonderful and great and awesome and just, oh, super cool. You know, another GGWP peep, peep. Fuck yeah. Absolutely, Jams. Welcome on in. Such an awesome platform, hey? So I got here. Amazing. Thank you, Val. So good that you found us. I'm really glad. Still no mountain, no, Jesse. Unfortunately not, but I've got 50 more attempts that I can get through but not till 1 a.m. So we're gonna we're gonna have some fun between now and then. Brick, Litter, Dan, Muhanad, Muhanad, Axiom, Bjorn, and Thor. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. Next battle. Be sure to place your units. Build up that loyalty. Um, I think I can turn in a quest or two. <laughs> oh no, I didn't put a link in. Um, Battle.net is a link. Battle.net is a link. Because right, Battle.net is also a website. There you go. I uh, can't believe Shah maybe wait for a whole 20 minutes to spawn. Oh, Zam. Longest possible spawn time. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Oh, what do I have that can upgrade? I'm a tank. Nice. My second tank, in fact. Wonderful. 
Alrighty. Let's head off. We are gonna go and do Where is it be Storm's Wake? So we're gonna start up here. I'm gonna head to Boralis. Uh so launch region fantastic, isn't it just? It's been one hell of a journey, and I'm loving it so much. Hello, Skills. Have you been? Really well, Jesse. Really well. Apart from obviously not getting them out. Um, it's been... I, I've had a really busy handful of weeks. I had my birthday, and then I had my mum and stepdad come to visit, which... Oh, hello. Bubble tea. Bubble tea. Bubble tea. Flavor? Bubble tea flavor. Extra peachy. Mmm. Peachy nom noms. I wonder if Bubble Tea will be in the app. Good question. <laughs> Bubble Tea. Yeah, it is. Look. Matcha. That's the avalanche crap from the yeah. store. Yeah, no, we don't like that. One glass, 300 mil. Uh, that's not 300. No. <laughs> that's like 500. I wonder, actually, I wonder if Bubble Tea Club has their nutrition information on the site. Because then I can add it in as a custom food. <clears throat> yeah, help center. Maybe it'll be in help center. Bye. Have fun. Bye bye. Bye bye. Hmm. We'll take it info. Mm, no, it doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. But maybe Gongcha will. Bubble tea nutritional nutrition. Fruity. Grapefruit, guava, guava, grapefruit, lemon, fruity, lychee, mango, mango, lychee, passion fruit, peach, 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 it's green tea, this one. Peach, fruity, iced green tea, nutrition information. Serving size 500 ml. I think that's probably closer to, right, I need to put something down this as well. Whoops. I think, um, I think 500 ml is probably. So to what I have. God damn it. Do I have? I do. <laughs> okay, I'm very good at this content creation thing, I promise. Um, is this all at the bottom? It is all at the bottom. Let us do the mixy mixy swirly. <laughs> want peach green bubble tea create peach green bubble tea bubble tea club serving size we have Ah, fuck, it's in kilojoules. Um, where's the KJ to Cal? Good. So, 672 kilojoules. So it's 161 calories. Um, there's... Apparently 0.5 grams of fat. Interesting. 
Um, saturated fat is 0 0.5. Oh, it's saturated fat. All of it is sat fat. Interesting. I'm learning new things. Uh, where's carbs? Several carbs. Uh, most of which is sugar. Good. And then 25 milligrams of sodium. Lock. <clears throat> yeah, I'm over. Oh well. Good. Okay. Back to talking to chat. Um... <laughs> Yes, bubble tea. I'm affiliate. Peach bubble tea with coconut jelly. Delightful and delicious. I feel like you might like some bubble tea, Rowan. Indeed. Indeed. And all of the things that I earn, all the commission that I earn from um, the bubble tea club, like my payouts and stuff from the affiliate program, goes towards my dentistry. Which is really funny. Because, you know, people talk about sugary drinks being, like, bad for your teeth or whatever. <laughs> Where to fear? I was down there. Got CE last night. Oh, fantastic! Claire, you'll get them out tonight. Well, I hope so. I would really like to not have to do it next year. And also not have to stay up till 4 a.m. doing fucking Heartbreaker runs. I've just got the best gnome name ever. Grab it before you tell anyone so that they don't steal it, Jazz. A great name idea earlier. I've completely forgotten it. Oh no! Oh no, great content creator, don't let any brain gremlins tell you otherwise. I'm sitting here browsing on my phone and fishing tea bags out of a water jug. Such engaging content. <laughs> but it does mean I have drinks now, so I can start doing these hydrates. Hundred percent you have to get it. I hope so. I'll have fifty attempts. As long as I can get through all of them in the three hour window. I am a little bit nervous, um, because some of the queue times have been really long tonight. So I'm really nervous that, um, I won't have enough time, but, uh, fingers crossed. Hopefully I'll get some help and get some fast queues and stuff. What horrors my brethren have wrought, and this creature's- You already said that, mate. Already grabbed it. Check in battle net. No! Oh my lord. Punt me. Good lord. Mm, suspense is killing. I've seen that one before. Yeah, there's no- there's no special characters in it or anything. How did you get that on fucking Bath of all places? May this serve as a lesson to all who wield the Tide Mother's gifts. I can't do the bosses. So that's not gonna work. Um... Vivo Pera, Pontable Fuck Divino. Good lord. Good lord. Okay. As I've got a stretch. Posture check. Another posture check, I'll do that later. I've done the mic cover. I have done a chair stream. Back onto the hydrates. Ooh. Kathir. Practice their dark magics unimpeded aboard the Abyssal Melody. Cleanse its decks of their defilement.
Sinus is getting owie again. Season 11 finished. Not yet. It finishes at 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. For US, at least. Uh, US and Oceanic. Um, for EU, it has finished, yeah. But I'm done my runs. I've done my 50, and I can't do any more until 1 a.m. Oh, your EU. There you go. Yep. All done. Yeah, we've got a, a day 15, uh, which for me, for my time, runs for from 1am to 4am. So I've got three hours to try to get my last 50 runs done. It's going to be a time. <clears throat> Perfect name for a gnome. Oh dear. Drop rate on that mount is absurd. Ah, it's a rare one, that's for sure. This has been a fun challenge though, like first getting the 50-50s and then like the actually getting all the runs done. I'm proud of myself for getting this far. I'm proud of myself for doing all the runs so far at least. I'm gonna do my best to get those last 50 in. Um, I'm hoping that the queues will be fast enough that I won't miss out on any. You know, only one way to find out. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, if I if I can get through all of them, even if it doesn't drop, I'll be extremely proud of myself uh, for for getting them done. Such it's a real one. It is. Never be allowed it to is. flourish in our world. So I'm not getting any uh, emissaries today, unfortunately, but that's okay. The people of Stormsong deserve to feel safe and secure. Show no mercy to anyone who threatens that security. Uh, what room are you on? Um, I'm currently on my alliance tune. One of my alliance tunes. So all my alliance are on Amanthal. All my horde are on Saofang. Welcome on in, Cade. I'll be having a lovely night. You're pretty hard to kill. A lot harder than that foe. Oh my god. Out of combat. Hmm. Enjoy your luck, Kaz. It's lovely. Dead 
Rich are going to donate some gold to help rebuild Brennerdom. And the catch is, we need to collect the gold ourselves. Didn't think that was gonna work, but that goal is gonna help a lot of people. Ah, uh, swim's really such a soothing zone. Love it. I agree. The music is pretty awesome too. Good morning, Laura. Welcome on in. Hope you're having a fantastic day so far. That horn sound always mean for me. Old Track Valley. Fair. Fair enough. Oh, I'm gonna go up to the top here and then work my way down and then head into Drostvar to do the Order of Embers. Stuff. Uh, Anima Farm, nice. What mounts are you hunting? At the moment, I'm trying to get my reputation up with Storm's Wake and with Order of Embers. Both are alliance factions and I main horde, so I never got them up. I'm trying to get them to Exalted so I can purchase the mounts at the at the top end there. Cross them off my list. Um, but I've got a whole list of mounts that I'll eventually work my way through this evening. Uh, one or more may or may not drop, but, you know, as long as we're making progress, that's what matters. And then, of course, uh, tonight, because it's the final night of Lovers in the Air, we're going to be running long, uh, and I'm going to be starting up my last round of 50 attempts for the Heartbreaker at 1am my time. Yep. It'll be fun. <laughs> Want to finish our arm? Mm. You must be EU, then I take it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm US and Oceanic. Um, so we've got a three hour long day 15. Uh, in my time zone, it's 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. And I have 50 characters, 5 0. So I need to get through 50 attempts, 50 runs. Well, hopefully not. Hopefully I'll only have to do one run and it'll bloody well drop. But worst case, I gotta get through 50 runs in those three hours. Um, <clears throat> I've been doing them every single day on all 50 tunes and I've been getting pretty okay. Um, like I've usually been able to do it within the three hour window. So hopefully we'll get there. It'll just, it'll depend on obviously queue times and things like that. But all I can do is the best I can do. So I'll just give it my best crack and uh, and hope for the best. Ouch, yeah, it's gonna be a time. And I got work tomorrow too, so that'll be great. My day job. But that's okay. The things we do. Good thing you're an immortal vampire, otherwise this would hurt you. Oh, Zam, it's already hurting me. I'm just hoping that I'll be, like, back to relative normal prior to surgery next month. Your line work is impressing the children. Look at their little eyes. And if I'm not, well, then I'm gonna spend 48 hours knocked the hell out, so that'll be fine. She is in agony inside and outside. Yeah, I just cover it with 10 pounds of makeup. I'm kidding. I genuinely don't wear that much makeup. Um, on my eyes, maybe. On my eyes, I wear a lot of makeup. But it's because it's all the different colors and fun shit. But um, in terms of, like, my face, 
I don't wear too much. I mean, not that there is such a thing as too much. Like, you know, you wear what makes you happy. Fuck. But, um, I, I don't, like, I often just can't be fucked with, like, liquid foundation or that kind of stuff. It's just a pain in the ass. And my skin is like a whiny little bitch as well, so um, it breaks out at the drop of a hat. Um, but I do have a couple of liquid foundations I want to see if I can figure out how to use up. So once I have more time on my hands, maybe I'll start doing actual proper like full face makeup type deals. Situations. But um, we'll see. We'll see. Now that I have my, my shiny new mirror that Jas bought me for my birthday, maybe I'll actually be able to see what I'm doing enough to actually do liquid foundation and not have it look like shit. <laughs> I'm very bad at applying it. But I do have a bunch of makeup sponges now, so that'll maybe that'll help too. Some some liquid foundations apply a lot better with a sponge, like a makeup sponge, and then some apply a lot better with a makeup brush. And then some, again, work best when you apply with your fingers, which is, I don't like those ones because it just makes a mess. I'd rather keep my hands clean and then wash my tools later, you know? But to each their own. To each their own. Turtle made it to the water. Yay! A turtle made it to the water. Thank you. Oh, there hero. we go. Um. Last one for Storm Song. I'm trying not to look at my reputation bars, so that when I hit Exalted, it's like, oh, yay! Let's go buy mounts. Like it's a surprise. It's like a drop. Um. Yeah. I'm a silly. To aid in the war effort. That old lady is one tough cookie. We'd be crazy to refuse to help her. <laughs> Fuck that turtle. No. Hmm. Speaking of throne, if you weren't here earlier, um, Zeran bought me a bottle brush off my wish list, and it arrived today, and I'm so cl I oh, I'm so happy. I get to actually clean my bottles properly. I'm so excited. It's gonna be awesome. I'm not supposed to kill them. I'm supposed to just milk them. Okay, well, oops. Stay in the fucking ball, you little flappy troll. Yeah, so that was a Pidgey. And that was from uh, Let's Go Eevee. Because it wouldn't let me catch it. Wrong type of animal. Doing shot and galleon runs and clearing my garrisons? Hell yeah. You do that. 
Well done. And thank you to everyone who's placing units in our battle as well. Kick the battle's AS. I think the next the next battle's a skin chest too. So make sure you build that loyalty. Pretty sure you get a higher chance of getting a skin or something. I'm not sure. It is flagged as a loyalty skin chest though, so it makes sense. pelts for this world quest. This is a pretty involved world quest. I don't think I've done this one before. You are looking for comfy underpants, comfy underpants, comfortable underwear. Uh, step one has your butt covered, FYI. This is a sponsored message. <laughs> now, I, I received uh, seven pairs of underwear from step one in exchange for chatbot messages, Instagram posts, etc. Uh, but legit, comfiest underwear I've ever worn. It's incredible. It's super, super awesome. So if you are looking at upgrading your underwear game, I would highly recommend the products. And if you use code STEP15, it's S-T-E-P-1-5, you can get yourself 15% off. We're lucky to have her around. Which is not bad at all. Come arriving with my inspirational message, E. Fantastic, Scarlet. I hope you're having a brilliant evening. Oh, battle time! Hope everyone got their units down. inspired. Sophia, when are you getting a logic affiliate code? I need a new mouse. It's on its way. No ETA yet, unfortunately. But I have been told they are working on it, and it is it is something they're actively working on because they do want it to happen. Uh, we just don't know when, unfortunately. I'd love to be able to give you at least a time frame, but um... <clears throat> My recommendation is that if you do, if you need something new, like if what you have doesn't work, replace it. It's all good. How are you? Um, but if you can hold out, then I would very much appreciate it. But no pressure. You know, you got to do what's best for you. These maps are so freaking huge. Like, freaking enormous. 
What wires do I need for a second monitor? Hmm. I wonder would that code work internationally? That is also a very good question. I imagine that I'll find out when I get it. Um, for a second monitor, Scarlet, it will depend on what you use for your first monitor, like what type of connection you use, what type of monitor your second monitor will be, and what type of graphics card you have. Have a look at the holes on the back and see what shape they are and find the cable that matches those shapes. Dunno, Fade, Durin, Zam, Litter, Thor, Dan, and Koala. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. And it is the loyalty skin chest. We have the opportunity to win a Nyx vampire skin and a Nike, or Nike, I can't remember, Templar skin. All you need to do is place your units in this battle. So you can follow the link that's just been dropped in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop units to the battlefield. It's just that easy. Whole mother of fucking god this is a busy as fuck oh jesus okay this is fine this is fine mm. i'm patiently waiting to replace the keyboard using one came with the new comp i'm sick of the wires yeah fair but yeah depends on the monitor power and either hdmi display port or usb type c i would assume yeah and these days, HDMI cable, yeah. A lot of graphics cards only have like a certain number of HDMI cables and stuff. It, yeah, it really depends on your individual setup. Um, you're better off taking, you're better off taking photos of, like taking a photo of the back of your computer where the graphics card is with the ports that are open um, and showing like what cable your first one uses and then whoever is at the store will be able to advise you. Um, often though, a screen should come with all the cables that it needs. Should. Um, but yeah, again, the people at the store will be able to advise you on that. Mm, what X said. We have an HDMI leave, fantastic. But yeah, most screens will come with an HDMI cable. Um, there are only so many HDMI cables some graphics cards can support, but again, that really, it depends on your setup very, very heavily. Hmm. Yeah, DVI and VGA are also another couple that <clears throat> may be used. I'm pretty sure one of mine is HDMI and the other one's VGA. Well, I don't remember. The cables came with it, I plugged it in, it worked. <laughs> Simple as that. Second screens are usually pretty fucking straightforward, like really simple to, to do. Um, it goes like when, when you start to put in third or fourth or fifth or sixth, that's when it starts to get like you need specific types of cables because a lot of um, PCs will only support X number of screens. But um, yeah. Sheba's, yeah. Sheba's rig, yeah. You've got to get very specific cables for that kind of stuff. Specific setups. Um, good morning. Hello, Den. Yeah, I'm doing alright. Um, didn't get the mount, uh, so I have to wait until 1am to start another round of 50 attempts for the, for the Heartbreaker. But that's okay. I was expecting that to happen. It just sucked when it actually did. Uh, usually display port and HDMI are two major types of cable you use at the moment. Yes. Yep. But yeah, it, it really depends on your setup. Um, if you're if you're running a fairly old video card, a graphics card, then yeah, you just without knowing what your setup is, we cannot tell you, basically. 
is the, is the most straightforward answer. Yeah, it's okay though, Den. Like I was, I was mentally preparing to have to do the, the early morning runs, so I, I know, like, you know, it sucks, but it is what it is. <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to spend the next couple days taking it as easy as I can to try to recover. But not having a stream tomorrow night after work will be, will be nice. Probably go to bed at six. <laughs> Or even if I don't go to bed, like, curl up in bed and watch Netflix until I pass out fairly early. Have a really early shower. Maybe pop on a face mask? Ooh. Mmm. That sounds like a really nice idea. Take off my makeup and pop on a face mask. Wash it off in the shower. Tuesday, Saturday, doing PTR testing for the first time. Oh, nice! Yeah, I usually avoid the PTRs because I don't like story spoilers. Um, but... The one time I ever used a PTR was for uh, pre-patch for uh, like right at the end of Wrath because it was when they were introducing achievements. So I copied my character over to the PTR to see which achievements I was this close to getting and then went and did whatever activities I needed to do on live so that I'd have the achievements as soon as they went live on patch day. Um. That's the only time I've ever been on a PTR. <laughs> but that's that's by choice. That's not because I wasn't able to. That's um I I really love experiencing storyline fresh on stream and giving you guys like letting you guys see my initial reactions to everything. Um I find it to be a lot of fun. So that's what we're gonna do on Wednesday. 9-2 launch day. Like when I when I finish stream tonight, hopefully, somewhere around 4 a.m. Um, the next time you see me, we'll be in ZM. And I've managed to avoid all the spoilers so far, which I'm very happy about. Gentle reminder, if you spoil, you get booted. No spoilers here, okay thanks. Mmm, I do as well, it's just dungeon app accessing, gotcha. Nice! The PTR did was Legion pre patch measurement, oh cool! I would as well. Of course, Sark, of course, yeah. Yeah, it's, um... I love that there are people who are willing to go in there, deal with the spoilers and stuff to test the content. My my gratitude goes out to them. Uh, because they protect me from having to see it, but also enable me to have as bug-free an experience as possible. So, yeah, we appreciate those people very, very much. We just ask that they don't share their story experiences here. <laughs> Spoilers bad! Exactly. Precisely. That's it. Precisely. I feel like I really should switch to DPS spec because tank doing all this stuff in tank spec is uh, taking a while. That's okay though. I'm pregnant. Ah, oh, congratulations, Dan! Lovely news. Best of luck. Not bad. You remind me of a young, well, a young me. Right, we're gonna hook over to here. Moon, oh, fantastic, Dan. Oh, that's wonderful news. Hmm. explained it a lot, but is the percentage for rarity just random? No, not at all. Not at all random. Only asked because I've had much less runs and about the same percentage showing. Yep. So, the percentage on rarity is the chance that you would have seen it drop already. So, um, because I've got 1,550 runs, there is a 37.19% chance that I've already seen one drop. That's kind of, so that's how it determines how lucky 
you've been and it, it goes um it, it's like an exponential kind of curve so as you have your first handful attempts it the the percentage climbs really quickly but then as you keep go i just spat <laughs> as you keep going it increases by less and less and less each time until it's almost like tangential to 100 percent. like it doesn't actually well it, it will eventually hit 100 percent, but it's not it, because of rounding only because of rounding. That number never technically hits 100%. Because there's always a chance that it hasn't dropped. But yeah, so the reason that you'll see the same percentage with a lot fewer runs is because the drop chance is a lot higher on the mount that you're looking at. So if I... I mean, come back. Give me a second. Um... Just kill this, and I'll show you a few different ones. I'm oh, just confused. I'm also looking at the Heartbreaker with 34 attempts. Don't have nearly as many 50s as you. Uh, you might be looking at the toy. The Heartbreaker is the toy. X45 Heartbreaker is the mount. Yeah. So. Um, I, I can't show you the Heartbreaker because um, I've already got that one. But if I look at, for example, Charmant, I've got 427 for 19.23. But then if I look at... Uh, let's go with this one, Royal Snapdragon, I've had five attempts, but 23%. Because it's a far more common drop rate. It's only like a 1 in 20. A 1 in 19, rather than a 1 in 3333. Three, three, three. So yeah, it's it's the percentage chance that you have seen you would have seen it drop already. This is the yeah. Yeah, it'll be the toy. The citizens of Trustbar are under The the little icon next to it will be different as well. It'll have like a, a heart with a thing through it rather than the, the pink rocket coloured uh, rocket coloured? Good. Uh the the pink coloured rocket icon. Um yeah, done. Time to do my mount runs. Yas, K. Good luck. Best wishes. I'll be starting mine again at 1am. Round two for the day. Well, you know, technically. Oh, rocket colored dirt water will one day be a thing. Yep. Absolutely. Blue brokers tend to be pink. I've never seen one in real life. That's a very good point, actually. That's a very good point. No, I don't think I have either. I think it could be rocket colored. It could be. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Coming for the pack meal. Nope, I'm doing world quests to get my reputation up with Order of Embers to buy the Exalterated Mount. Done my Storm's Wake World quests for the day. I've cleared that map. So now I'm clearing this map as well. Rep farm. Yes! It is. It is indeed. So does the quest go cages? Yeah. That's alright. Mmm. Give me a shout when you'd like to do the Night Fae one and only. I'll switch over. Aw, thank you, Kay. Appreciate it. Um, it'll be after I finish this map of world quests. Um, but I have like six, I think. Uh, seven, because I can do the bladder monstrosity. I've got like seven world quests left to go, so not including the one that I'm on. Yeah, that'd be very lovely of you. Thank you. And anyone else who's keen to try to get Valfir? What's the map makeup today? Uh, Snowfeather Hunter. Snowfe I think that was what it was called. Snowfeather Hunter. White and grey and navy blue. Are you stressed? Very generous with your time. Just knows. Which is right now. Since it's 35 attempts, a whole 1.04. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, that sounds far more accurate, though. <laughs> Oh dear. Yeah, I've, I cannot, like, I've done so many attempts. I'm honestly so heckin' proud that I've managed to do all 50 every day so far. Like, I'm, like, that's a huge accomplishment in and of itself, even without the mount dropping. That's huge, you know, that persistence and the dedication and stuff. I'm really proud of myself. Um, hopefully we can keep it up. Get those last 50 knocked off. In fact, I hope I don't even have to do 50. I hope it drops on the bloody first one so I can go to bed. <laughs> but we'll see. <sighs> we'll see. Only one way to find out, and that's to do it. Mm, that's an easy way for me to remember to give it a go! Of course! Okay, of course. Always loved the Falcosaurs. That was one of the most fun quest line sets I've done so far. It was very cute. Very cute. Make a point of putting a few pet to mount quest lines each expect. That would be kind of nice. That would be kind of nice. Hey. We've been killing it. I reckon so. I reckon so. Such a drain. I'm only doing 34, I think, and it's so annoying. Oh, 50 sucks. Don't get me wrong. It sucks. It has sucked this whole time. Like, I am just so drained. I mean, I, I don't think it... I, th I think it probably hinders it even further that I had, like, the birthday in there. Which was like, I mean, that was such an energizing, amazing, incredible stream. I had so much fun doing it, but like pressure of the birthday and then this whole weekend that I've spent with my family, as great and amazing as it has been, it has sapped my energy. Like Sunday, woke up, went to brunch, came home, slept all day, woke up, woken up by my get ready for stream alarm, woke up, got ready, did stream and then went straight back to bed again and I actually slept through and I had and I put my sleep score in in thingamajig in the discord and that was my sleep score with having had a three hour nap like what yeah no I just oh I'm so screwed I'm so tired this has been a blast streaming every day like as a challenge it's been great but I'm fucked <laughs> I'm so tired. There is a reason I don't do this regularly. I just, I can't survive it. You did well, champion. I can feel Azeroth recovering her strength. Uh, Thanks to you. Time for a raid. There you go. Kaz has kicked a raid off. Wonderful. Should be set up pretty well, though, so that's good at least. It has, it really has. There are there have been some days that have been better than others, obviously. Um, dispose of the charms and any enthralled falcon as you see before the influence spreads. But I'll be really interested to see how the um, oh, okay, so I can. Yeah, make my little uh, thing to see how the, the numbers have actually gone over the time will be really interesting. Because we all love dad data. Okay, not all of us, but lots of us love data. The worst part about having no coins is when Shuba and I went all in and we got away, so so many coins were lost to nothingness. I've got a ticket open. I, I've opened a ticket with Streamlabs, um, so I'm just waiting to hear back from them now. Hmm, are there any 
between Puzzle Star World Quest and Shadowlands, like the Kieran Tour ones in Legion, not the Shadow ones in BFA. I'm not sure, actually. I don't think so. None that come, like, none that pop into the top of my head, but it has been a while since I've done Shadowlands World Quests. Um, so I could just be forgetting. You see, he doesn't have two HMI ports. This is why I said it's very, very heavily dependent on, uh, on what you actually have, Scarlet. You need to, like, take a photo of the back of your PC and take it with you to the shop, and they'll be able to help you. You need to stop it. Oh, I popped on that. I misunderstood. You need to go to someone. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. But yeah, it's, um, Sariska Raids, hey. But yeah, just thought I'd update everyone that there is actually a ticket there. Because if you're not earning, chances are no one else is earning either. And they're all just kind of trading on their coins. And if they go all in and they lose it, they probably won't get any more either. So yeah, back on monitor two. Yeah, I wasn't sure that Scarlet actually had a second monitor yet. That was the thing. Like, um, because if you've got one, usually they come with a cable. And you could just plug a cable in and run it to the back of the PC, but... Um, maybe not. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had to buy new computer parts. Um, I just have a small monitor. No, I'm not earning. Yeah. 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 I'm pretty sure no one's earning. Like, a bug that's only affecting one or two users is very strange. Very strange. A tortolan begins its life amidst great danger. Like these turtles here on the beach. Defend them as they make for the safety of the ocean. No. I don't like this particular placement of this quest, because they're in the water! Why don't they count as being in the water? I also feel like I'm too close to everything. I don't know, there's something just not quite right about the angle. Thank you, Hugo. Ah, uh, okay. Turn of the turtles, indeed. In terms of hours, how far away is final attempts from now? I'm bad at time zones overseas. It's eight twenty-three p.m., so it's half an hour until nine, like, and then ten, eleven, twelve, one, four and a half hours, roughly. Roughly four and a half. Oopsie. There we go. Uh, worst world quests in BFA. Look, I don't mind them. It's just that particular placement. It feels like I'm too close to everything, and I'm swinging the camera around wildly and. Um, that kind of movement in video games tends to give me motion sickness. Um, but I don't mind those ones, because I'm- I can get the, like, aiming on the birds pretty easily, so... Yeah. Hope you have snacks. I do have mandarins in the fridge. Mandarin oranges. Um... But yeah. I, uh, I prepared. Prepared. Uh, beeping noise with you. Yeah, that was me turning on the air conditioning. Um, usually it coincides with me picking up a thing, Maji, but I can understand if you're alt tab that you wouldn't have seen me picking up the remote, so. Yeah. Oh, shit, Mandarins, I can't find any down in Vic. Oh, Aldi. It's not, it's not the, um, these ones are from the US. It's not Mandarin season. It's too hot. Um, but yeah, they're, they're imported. 
Flappy bird and bastion is closest puzzly one of the- Oh, and I hate those ones. I hate the flappy bird one in particular. I just go with the easy mode one nowadays. Um, because I've got the achievement, so I don't need to do the difficult one, so why would I bother? Uh, and yeah, and then the, like, the bouncing flowers to get up the top as well. But there are no, no, like, click puzzles, like memory or, um, tracing out shapes or anything like that. Yeah. Uh, she bought them all. No, I didn't. I bought one bag, like, one, one kilogram bag that has, like, five in it or something. What is Zygor? Uh, it's a guide add-on. Um, you can download it from, I think it's just zygor.com. Uh, and it has a whole bunch of, like, early leveling, like an Exile's Reach guide and all the starting zones and stuff like that and a handful of selected other guides. Uh, and then you can pay for extra guides if you so decide. Uh, it has a shitload of leveling stuff. It has, like, gold farming routes, like, you know, uh, mining and herbalism and stuff like that routes. Uh, it has world quest guides, which is what I'm using for at the moment. Uh, guides for mounts, pets, toys, titles reputation grinds. It has optimized routes for all the elders for Lunar Festival or for um, like the bonfires for Midsummer or the candy buckets for Halloween, all that kind of stuff. Uh, it's got a metric shitload of guides in it. A metric shitload. Um, and I use it almost every time I log into WoW. Almost every time I'm, I'm using something uh, in, in Zygor. So it's well worth it for me. Uh, so that i been using it for over a decade. Ah, itchy. Uh, yeah, there is a there is a, um, a referral thing there. Uh, I don't get paid. It's not an affiliate program. Basically, if you sign up and you use the subscription-based one, if you pay for the guides, uh, then as long as you are subscribed, I get a dollar off my subscription each month. Um, so I'm not earning anything, but it does make it cheaper for me if you do use my referral link. Uh, you're my heart attack. Same as my electric stove. How we oh god, Dura, I'm so sorry. Yeah, no, it's just like your standard beep. Hey. Standard beep noise. I miss them going to Aldi tomorrow. Fantastic. Hopefully near you they have them. I'm not sure. Maybe they're only importing to certain states. I don't know. Who knows? Currently using Zoda Farm Herbs. They go. Currently using it to get from 46 to 50 on Pally. Yeah, the leveling guides are incredible. Um, they're not just... Like, Azeroth Autopilot's fantastic, from what I've heard. I've never used it, because I've always just used Zygor. Um, but from what I've heard, it's great, but it has one route. So Zygor, you can pick and choose where you want to go. So if you want to level a bunch of tunes and get Lawmaster done at the same time, you can take this tune through those zones and this tune through those zones to, start to like, cross them all off for Lawmaster. Uh, whereas Azeroth Autopilot doesn't allow you to do that. So there are definitely some benefits to Zygor, but the guides are also paid, so... Yes! Ah, uh, you've missed an A there, Draz. Missed an A. I'm not a paladin. Uh, there you go. So much tragedy. Perhaps we should cease having weddings here. Ah, uh, you can go some path AP. It's very experimental and not as tailored. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Alright, this is my last Drustvar world quest. So after this one, I'll be switching on to the Night Fae tune to do the attempt there. Just in case anyone was listening out for that. No, 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 no. Never said that, Doran. This one's going to take a while. Switch and get ready. Awesome. This one is going to take a little while because this is like the 200k health thing. But we'll see how we go. Mm. Careful and keeping yourself safe is not the same as being paranoid. Correct. Correct. If it starts affecting your ability to live life day to day, then it might be worth seeking some help. Um, but like double checking that your stove isn't on when you hear the noise that it makes, albeit from a different source, yeah, that's not, that's fine. 
Uh, what are you working towards on Night Fae? Uh, Valfir, the unrelenting, the, the big dude. Uh, in, like, eastern Ardenwild. Night Fae only mount drop. Whoa. Yeah. Can buy it for 5,000 anima. Yes, but I don't have 5,000 anima. Nor do I have the, the uh, grateful offerings that it also requires. One day I might have the time to farm up that anima and the grateful offerings, but until then, I'm gonna farm the boss. Because hey, it might be a free drop. So I opened my case of Shotouch Gold, I saw an achievement pop up. I thought it was rare, I didn't got the mount, but it was money achieve again, oh my poor heart. Oh, Zam. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so you see you at my 2am for the final run. See you then, Yori. Rest well, and I'll see you soon. So why buy when I can hopefully get it to drop for free? I mean, I'm in no hurry. Yeah, basically. Basically. And I don't, I don't have time to farm up the anima, so... Literally the only one I can, the only way I can afford to get this mount is by getting it to drop. Uh, but that's okay. Look, maybe one day in the future I'll be able to buy it, um, and when I can, I will. But until then, there's a shitload more items that I can buy with anima that cannot be dropped in any way. Like, you have to spend your anima on it. And same thing with Grateful Offerings. There are things that you can buy with them that you must buy with Grateful Offerings. You cannot earn them in any other way. So those are going to be my higher priorities for those currencies. Uh, because it's the only way I can get them. Whereas this one can actually drop, so I might as well might as well try to get it to drop. Um uh, It's not like there aren't sinks for that number that don't drop anyway exactly, especially Night Fae. They have like three full sets of armor on vendor only. Ugh, yeah, look, I'll get there one day. One day. Warrior more. <laughs> in order for me to get a lot of this stuff, I need to just play more, but I just, I don't have the time. Not yet. Maybe one day in the future. Don't love the plate. A few pieces of set each night. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I would seem that you did. I would seem that you did miss a fight. That's okay. It happens. How's that battle going? Ah, oh, looking good. <clears throat> Did I get a skin? <gasps> I got a skin! You guys, look! I got a skin! One out of two. Uh, Litter, Bjorn, Bod, Melody, Thor, Fairy, Seeker, Koala, and Flibble. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. I got a skin. Who else got a skin? I would like to know. Tell me if you won. Tell me which one you got, Nyx or Nike. Can't place a berserker. That's okay. I'm gonna pop down Let my flag for instead. Aww. No. No skin. No skin. Sometimes you get autograph. Just opportunity to lose. Oh, I have a skin over my skeletal meat meatbag IRL. Fantastic. Fantastic, just better get my son alarm clock that swears at him instead of beeping. He's in for a rude awakening. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. So, no skin for Seeker, I take it. Okay. So that's that one done. I'm gonna go back to the garrison and we're gonna switch to the druid. Ah, 
he got the same one as I did, channel. Fantastic. Congratulations. No skin looks like I'm short on loyalty. No. Loyalty just increases your chance. Does I don't think it ever gets to 100. Oh, excuse me. Alright, while I'm... No, actually, let's log into Yauten. Over to the Druid. <clears throat> excited for Wednesday? I would be more excited about for Wednesday if I didn't have to stay up till 4am to do my last rounds of uh, Heartbreaker runs. <laughs> I'm just excited to be able to sleep a proper night tomorrow. Um, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be excited once I get there though. I'm just too tired at the moment. Uh, okay, turn on all the things. Uh, showing third item unlocked, I had loyalty 28 out of 50. Ah, oh, bugger Dan! Clearly you need to place more units then, hey? There you go. Mm. Might not have been a skin anyway, though. That's okay. It would be epic if you got them out in the last three hours. Absolutely. Nice to have something new to do. For those who only do, like, current, current, current content, then, yeah, absolutely. I just, I always have something new to do. Um, so, yeah, I kind of... Mm, collectors always having something to do, so <laughs> it would be epic if I got the mount on the first out of the fir the last 50 runs, like at 1am, that would be really nice. Um, okay, uh, I got a whisper, that was me. Uh, Okie dokie, where am I going? Hearthing to Harbour Forest. Yeah, the Love is in the Air event, the la day 15 of the event goes from 1 till 4 a.m. Brisbane time. Three hours to get 50 runs done. Uh, 22.58 on ATT for priests. When I started a few months ago, you couldn't get enough healers to raid. Got fairly distracted, she's only 58. Going for random quests and stuff, currently chasing battle pets. Yes, amazing. Mm, definitely do free any dismay, staying, getting up. Yeah, absolutely. I say five minutes stream, and anyone looking at the phone would be like, she got it. Yep. Well, that's the thing. I am staying all the like, I'm we're, we're sticking around all the way through. I'm not going to turn the stream off at 10 and then boot it back up three hours later. There's just, there's no point to do that for me and my, the way that my body works. Um, so. Yes. Um, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go straight through. Uh, it doesn't mean I'm probably going to be running fucking island expeditions till one in the morning though, <laughs> which is an unpleasant prospect, but that's fine. Uh, still in a mountain. No, not yet, Northy. Not yet. It's okay. One more attempt to go on each turn. Good luck on the Heartbreaker runs. Thank you, Exo. Much appreciated. You can do our stream the whole time and swap games and stuff. Nah, we'll just do our. We'll just do our. Oh, hello! Greetings. I am in healer spec. I will change to tank. That might make this a little more pleasant for everyone involved. Oh, let me out farm slots. Maybe we'll circle back to islands? Yeah, probably. I feel like things is a bad add on. I saw the next thing I'm in Molten Core. I'm 1 a.m. hunting transmogs. Look, add ons can neither be good nor bad. It is how they are tools and it is how we use them. I know the feeling though, Flip. I 100% understand you. Ready to kick it off? I am indeed. I am indeed. Ready when you are. Healers don't heal and Heartbreaker is fine. I absolutely do. I absolutely do. I may have given up on the Heartbreaker after two days of running 17 characters. Valued my sanity. 14 days, 50 characters. 5-0. And now we're just waiting for the dailies to reset so I can have my day 15. 
Honestly, even if it doesn't drop, I'm proud of the effort. I did everything I could, you know? And that's all you can do, right? All you can do is all you can do. And then when she forgets to swap spec and is like, YOLO! Yeah, I tanked in healer spec entirely too many times. Um, someone called me out for it today and got shitty with me. I'm like, eh, fuck off, it died. Who cares? No one, none of us died and they died. What's the problem? Um, sound is overrated. Mount is eternal. You, look, you're not wrong. I do until I notice someone's just AFK in bad bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing how many runs you stuck with. Look. I am nothing if not stubborn. That's more than I can do. So I'm going to farm at each event burnout after two days. I feel that. I feel that. I get burnt out and I'm like, no, I want it. By the next day, I'm like, oh, I really don't want to, but I really want them out. And if I get it today, I never have to do the runs again. Yeah. I'm really good at convincing myself. It's wonderful. Uh, I was a bit much surprised I had the time before the bosses died and everyone instanced out. Yeah. Oh well. People can touch type. It's a thing. I can do it sometimes. I got a totem of stolen mojo. Oh, it's, the, it's animal. Never mind. Yay! Thank you for the attempt. I appreciate it. Actually, fuck this. I'm just gonna go back to um. G -g -g Garrison. There we go. Uh, tick that one off. Oh, it's tormentors in 19 minutes, isn't it? Because it's odd numbers, like odd hours for um, like odd numbered hours for Brisbane. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. We'll go do Malbog. And then, um... Hang out for either the Covenant Assault and or Tormentors of Torghast. Perfection! Love it when shit lines up. Mm, I swear if I heartbreak is the most valuable NFT in- Oh, oh my god. Uh, no. Uh-uh. Got industed to entertain my stubbornness instead. 589 kills and counting. Well done. Look at you go. Yeah, I've like, it would take me two streams, two full streams to run 50 tunes against Shah or Undaster or Nalak or Galleon. Two full streams, 12 hours total. And I'm, I'm hella tempted. I'm hella tempted. Before we had the, uh, before we had the announcement of 9-2, I was planning on doing like a Shah farm across all 50 characters. For the six-year anniversary stream on Saturday. <clears throat> the raid one, because I don't raid. Fair. Fair. Um, hang on. I'm I like to think we're all doing our little part to motivate you by hanging out and watching. You absolutely are, Thor. 100% correct. Not for me, just junk. Ah, oh, thank god all I do is tank and DPS. Healing is easy. You did, like, as I was like, oh shit, on, on day one, and I'm like, oh, how do I heal on this tune? And just chat was telling me, press this button. I'm like, okay, button, 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 button. It was great. <sighs> Terrible, but great. Hand mounts are so fun. They are very creepy and adorable. Uh, very fun at raid, of course. Thank you for mentioning Tormentors. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Uh... Good, and then I'm gonna go to Oribus. I need to do that, as do I. As do I. I'm basically a busy tutorial. <laughs> so many characters is enough for Industa for me to play another game at the same time while waiting. Fair. Totally fair. Um. Okay, yeah, I couldn't type while fighting, but I'm ready. Aww. Thank you. 120 attempts for Raven Lord. I don't know if that's basic, but I'm over it. Yeah, the Raven Lord was an interesting one. Uh, when that dropped for me, I didn't even know it was a thing. Uh, and it was back in BC when you needed a druid in the group to be able to summon it. And the druid that was in our group was a friend of mine, and he was very upset that I got it. <laughs> very upset. Um, but it's okay. It is what it is. I managed to hear my seven prop heal random so they go by. I did not try more yet. Yeah, with um with event stuff, because there's so little damage actually going out unless people do stupid stuff like stand and shit. Um it's like, yeah, you can basically just one button heal. Other places not so much. But in the event dungeons. Mm. Such a long day, I forgot my glory raved out for Sanctum today. Ah! Oh, congratulations, dude. Well done. 
I think I play about the hand, so I think it would be fairly easy to sync up with animation. They do they rock, paper, scissors with other people. Oh, that would have been amazing. Learn to Heal with Fear, available in all good bookshops. Oh, it was ridiculous. It was terrible. Level 52, new wish to the game. Where should I be leveling? Shadowlands. In the newest expansion. Um, if you haven't already started doing Shadowlands, uh, there'll be like a, a quest you can start in either Orgrimmar or uh, Stormwind, depending on which faction you are a part of. And um, yeah, you kick off from there and then you just follow the storyline. Uh, it'll guide you through each uh, zone in order. And then on your future characters, like if you if you level that one to 60 and then you want to make an alt, like a second character, or a third or a fourth, etc., then those ones you can mix things up a little bit more from there. But it, the game will teach you how to do that. Um, for now, on your first tune, you just want to follow the quest chains. But welcome on in, Devo. I hope you're having a fantastic day and enjoying your experience as a new player. That's the important part, right? If it's a video game, you're supposed to have fun. So I hope you are... Um, I'm going to sleep on in less pain. Enjoy, Landa. Rest well. We'll see you next time. How did you get to 52 without starting Shadowlands? That's very easy to do that, actually. Um, I've got characters at 54 who have never set foot in Shadowlands. It's really easy to do. Especially if, like, you're leveling through BFA and you hit 50, but you keep finishing the quest lines and stuff. Very, very easy to do. They, it gives you a ton of experience. Cheers to all Alliance. Ah, fantastic. Yeah, so head to Stormwind and there should be quests there that you can pick up if you've never been to Shadowlands before. That'll start you off. Mmm. World Event Dailies, definitely. But also ignoring Mograine when he starts yelling at your level 48 is also really easy to do. What rewards a ton of XP still after 50? Yep, bonus objectives, uh-huh. And keep in mind that, um, like, on... If it's a very first character, they have to level through BFA. And so it's not Chromie time. So at level 50, Chromie doesn't start yelling at you and pull you back to your capital city. You just keep going. <clears throat> It, it, yeah, it is surprisingly easy to just keep going. Especially if you're not sure, like, why this random person is all of a sudden yelling at you from the bottom of your screen. <laughs> uh, got to 58 in BFA before saying, no, nah, I don't want to do Najita. Yeah. Yep. I got to 53 doing Najita uh, every single day, trying to get the, um, the rep up on my Alliance tune. And now she's 54 because she's been doing other world quests and stuff. Ah, sure, because it's hard to think about as a newbie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you've been playing for years, there are so many things that you notice and just know naturally. Um, whereas, yeah, a new player, no idea. It's all it's all fresh and new and wonderful. I was at 50 for ages before realizing I did burst shadowlands. Ah, I got sidetracked trying to get mounts. I feel you. You are in the right place. <laughs> we too get distracted by collecting mounts. That's absolutely a thing.
13 attempts. That's okay, we'll tick Malbog off. Um, what mount are you after in Corthia? Uh, that one there was the Crimson Shard Hide, but I'm now heading back to Venari, and I'm going to be waiting for the Tormentor of Torgast to spawn, because that's, uh, that's only in 10 minutes. So I'm going to hang out for a little bit and wait for that to spawn. Because I know it falls over real quick. Um, a buttload in BFA like Tulsiris? Yes. Uh, it's a good way to get sidetracked though, it absolutely is. Mounts are wonderful, so much fun to farm. Malbog, dog, bear, dog rhymed, yes. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Did a fear, forgot to make sure I was in right queue. This is why the Tomcat Tours is so fucking awesome, because you cannot accidentally queue for the wrong thing. There's only one queue button and it only goes for the Crown Chemical Co. queue. Like, I grabbed that day two, and I haven't gotten into the wrong queue since, except when Jas tried to put us in the wrong queue accidentally. But that's, um, neither here nor there. So... <laughs> um, uh, DPS missed the queue. Oh, uh, it's because they've gone away AFK to do something else and they didn't hear it pop. Pop me as tank, didn't want to make other people wait, so I take my first heroic. Well done, Apathy, good job. I love my blue alien kangaroo rampaging mauler, fantastic. Congratulations. So considering your area of expertise, Fear. I have an area of expertise. <laughs> Let us read on and discover. Imagine you'll find this funny. I use the black light that comes with the COVID tests to show the kids why they need to wash hands in the toilet. I'm a very clean person, but dear sweet baby Jeebus. Toilets, the walls, floors, roofs are hell holes. Yes, correct. Correct. Why did your COVID test come with a black light? I've never used uh, like a rat or anything, so why the fuck do they come with a black light? Why do you need them? I have limitless time. You. All right, so we're gonna wait for tormentors to spawn, uh, and then it's Necrolord, which does have Necrolord has a thing. Um, so I'm gonna open that up here. Covenant. Assaults. So the, the Covenant Assault will be what we're doing after Tormentors are done. I don't know where the Tormentors are going to pop though. They can pop pretty much anywhere in the fucking zone, can't they? Um, also became abundantly clear why it's so hard to clean up blood after a murder. <coughs> clean my bathroom toilets every weekend, including disinfecting the walls around the toilet. Still a horror show. Yeah, it takes a lot to actually get rid of, um, of bodily bits and bobs. What's the bunny icon vault that was on your screen just now? Ah! Oh! The one that's down here, it's over here. When I click it, my vault comes up. So I can check how many I've done and all that kind of stuff without having to go back. Um, it is also in the saved, if you go into saved instances and click on this one here, it also brings it up. Um, but this was back before I knew that was a thing. I got that, that's a weak aura. And I got that like back in the first or second week of the expansion, I'm pretty sure. Or like when the vault was released, it was pretty much straight away. Let me get lost and bubble around in Shadowlands. Enjoy, Davo, enjoy. We'll see you next time. So nice to get the five minute timer though. So you can be where you need to be, accidentally. Mine did in the rat. Ah, there you go. Show the results. Interesting. So I, cause I just kind of assumed it was, you know, sort of like if any of you have ever seen a pregnancy test, like, you know, you, you have the sample in the thing and then eventually it has like lines on it. I didn't realize you needed a black light to read the fucking thing. There you go. And then the rats we have came with the black light. Ah, oh, so there's multiple types of them too. That's cool. Some of them require a black light to see the control and test strips. Lord knows why they went with a UV reactive chemical test, but they did. There you go. I guess the black lights were cheap enough. I'm gonna let that through. I'm uh, new to WoW, like first time playing. I picked Orc Shaman. I don't know. I'm not enjoying it. That's okay, Sirx. You can drop that and try something different. Um, WoW is incredibly flexible, like you can absolutely drop that if you're not enjoying it and play something different. Uh, you would have to create a new character. Um, the, the race that you choose, like the orc part of it, doesn't tend to have too, too much of an effect on how the game actually plays, but the class part, the shaman part, does. Absolutely. And then of course you've got your three different specs and stuff, but if you're not level 10 yet you won't see that. Um, there is an option to you to do a class trial. Uh, which allows you to like play a class for 10 minutes or so to see at, at like a higher level to see whether or not you like how it flows and stuff. And then if you like it, you can run with that. 
if you don't like it, you can try something else. Um, but I can't remember, I've never done the class trial, so I can't remember how to actually access those from like the character creation screen. Uh, but yeah, don't be afraid to try something new. Don't feel like you're locked in because you're absolutely not. It's totally okay. You can chop and change as much as you like. You can have up to 50 characters on your account. Five zero. Up to 50 different characters on your one account. Uh, I have all 50 on mine because I'm one of those. But uh, <laughs> so I just uncovered I'm going to use chemicals to break down the DNA. Uh, you can use a macro to bring out the vault too. There you go. Thank you very much, Northy. There's a script that people can run if they want to show the vault from anywhere. Trial classes option when making character. Yep, still look like a pregnancy test. I figured they probably would. It's the kind of rats we got, like the pregnancy test. Not all, but the, t the Hoff brand five pack comes with them expensive little fuckers. Yeah, the only ones I've ever seen were like a five pack for a hundred bucks. And I'm like, not worth. I don't leave the house enough anyway. Fancy black light, too expensive for ScoMo. Ugh. Fucking uh, ScoMo's an idiot. Ah, uh, what something like AOE DPS. Ooh, there are a few good choices for AOE DPS. Um, hey Alpha. Have you considered Death Knight? Uh, yeah, DKs are good with AOE DPS. Um, mages are pretty good with AOE DPS as well. Hunters aren't really specifically AOE DPS, but they do have a couple of spells and talents that make AOE quite good. Um, God, I don't know. Everyone, all like we've got a few community members who are really, really good at answering these kinds of questions, and all of them are in bed at the moment. <laughs> all of them are gone to sleep. So it's a little bit tricky. Uh, I'm not super great at uh, knowing everything about like which class to pick and something but mm, a lot of them do tend to get their aoe abilities at a higher level like you don't get them when you're right at the start you can grow into them as it were um but i can't remember which ones exactly are like the bestest for it uh one from the netherlands hello dj welcome in Welcome in. Be aware most classes don't get good AoE until 30 to 40. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Do you recommend anyone? Yeah, there have been a few suggestions in chat, Zerks. Uh, top of the screen gives you like an 8 hour play timer. You can't go into phases. Oh, huh, what? What is Ice talking about? Uh, if you recommends a paladin? No. <laughs> I mean, if you want to play a paladin, yes. It's kind of a, it's a bit of a running joke here, though. Uh, DK's still a hero class. Like, do you need a level 2 to unlock them still? You don't need a level 2 to unlock them still, but they do start at level 8, I think. Or maybe 10. So no dungeons or raids. Oh, for, like, class trials. Okay, when I started playing, I rerolled three times before hitting max level. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay to experiment before you find what you, what you jam, what you jive with. Favorite class. 20 pack for work for about 250. I don't own the expansion for DK. Uh, you don't need to, the, there are no expansions that you can own anymore, Cirx. It's just you can have Shadowlands. And then if you don't have Shadowlands and you're paying your monthly subscription, your monthly subscription includes all the previous expansions. They don't sell the individual ones anymore. That's, yeah, they, they stopped doing that a little while back. Just a little while ago, not too long. You're just different between experiences, melee and ranged, yeah. We're at Paladins too, to be honest. Perfect, perfect. Um, most of these days, I know what my main... What, what, to be honest? I know what my main... Sorry, DJ, I don't quite understand that message. Having a bit of trouble decoding, sorry. Um, Shaman's attacking skills isn't fun to play with. I want something like quick attacks or something. Yeah, that's fair. Um, so, I believe Shaman's at lower level play as elemental. As you get higher up, you get an access to enhancement, which is a little bit faster, but it does still have a few spells. If you're looking for stuff that's like super quick, um, uh, I like Monk. I like Windwalker Monk. I like, uh, which is a melee DPS class. Uh, I like Rogues. Rogues are pure DPS. And I like Druids. Feral Druid, like melee Druid, is really fun. Um, and they also have the opportunity of being ranged DPS or healer or tank. So you can like play around with all four roles if you wanted to. Um, and I'm not sure which of those would be best at AoE though. But they're all, I, I, my experience of those is all pretty quick. Demon hunters are also pretty fast um, in terms of like tick, 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 like abilities going around. Might not be melee then. Yeah, melee is going to be your best option for fast, definitely. 
Hub, how does he earn the class to play? Really shame if you like spamming lightning bolts a lot, lol. Yes, yeah, still not very fast though, DJ. Um, try Rogue, for example, quite fast. Yep, again, though, most classes will be slow until they get some abilities. Exactly, you do need to still level to like level 20 or 30 before you start getting your abilities that makes it faster. All right, we've hit 9 p.m. Where... Where is my Tormentors? I know they take a few minutes to actually spawn. Ah, oh, wait, is that it? Tormentors, yeah, okay, cool. We're up the top. Off we go. Um, I've been playing since 2007, only since BFA have a proper main, which is a rogue used to reroll constantly. And that's totally okay as well. Totally okay. DK starts at 10, found it really accessible. Good tank and DPS formats for leveling, easy to understand as you go. Fantastic, there you go. Good advice. I'm from NBC Wrath. My first tomb was Propali. Nice. Nice. Even had a DPS, definitely the most accessible and easiest to level, I'd say, from my limited experience. Started with the Druid, was through that I realized I like balance, but it was the mage fantasy I liked better. But the only horde mages were trolls and undead. Yeah. Blood elf. Fatwa. Tremaculum. Yeah, we're getting there. <clears throat> We'll get there in time. Plenty of time to spare. Now oh, they're all heading over still. Oh, oh! I'm like, where the hell they go? It's in the raid group thing. It looks like we're all uh, war mode off, which is good. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Progress around that one tends not to spawn if you're in the subzone when the event starts. Might hang around on the southern end of the big bridge until the event starts. Okay, because I've only done it once and it didn't work that way at all. It was fine. Um, I've only yeah, I've only ever done this once before that I can remember, and we were all hanging out in the rail in the zone and it spawned and it was perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. Um, but if if it doesn't work, then I'll run out and run back in again and it'll be fine. Um, just. <laughs> Mid Horde LA. Oh, these! These days! Okay, sorry. I was very. I was like, what is Desse? I was so confused. Um, what are I these days? All classes on 16, all professions on max. Old habit, X Lone Wolfie, of course! Of course, that's totally fine. Hearing the more music is triggering me. I'm sure you'll be just fine. Um, it doesn't always back up, does have to leave this. Yeah, nah, it'll be fine. Yeah, we did it. Uh, I don't think it, it might have been last week. But it might have been the week before. I don't really remember. Last week was a bit of a blur. I've got a minute to go. seconds. Ten 
seconds. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Hmm. Okay, yep, yeah, it seems like... Oh, it's because they're further out. Okay. They're like all the way down the way. It's interesting. goes. Here we go. Alrighty, who we got? Koala, Litter, Seeker, Never, Dunno, Durin, Landa, Bod, and Dan. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Let me go over here and get a tag on this. Well, not a tag. It's great quality. But, uh, like, it's been tagged already, but I can still help. And I can hop over here. Oh, the button's still broken anyway. <sighs> Once that button unsticks itself, I can click it. Only a couple, just just a few, just a few. There we go. Now I can click it. Uh, I just need to see how late stream changes numbers. Oh, absolutely. The Emperor knows cannot compete. Zero knows even. Ooh. Ah, right. It didn't update quick enough. Let's just see. Fantastic. All right. <laughs> But RGB makes anything better. They're nano leaf panels. They're awesome. Uh, you can change what color they are as well. If you uh, there's a if you hover over the stream on desktop, I don't think it's available on mobile. But if you're on desktop, you can mouse over the stream, and there's a little pop out thing that's like a, a pink swirly light bulb. If you click that, there are options to change what color the panels are. It does cost bits, but um. You can change what colour they are and, and permanently until somebody else changes them. So that's kind of funky. Um, such characters, much fear. Wow, oh dear. Oh dear. Alright, what am I... I will place my unit in a second. I just really need to get the fuck over here <laughs> to get my hit on. Sark was able to get in and kill as well.
Yikes. With the why is there no sound? The gif was bruised as well. There we go. Good lord, it's taking a while, isn't it? Alright, Tormentor's Cache. May you contain a hand of Bamethra. It did not. <laughs> it did get a warped phantasma though. So that's nice. Uh, Alright. Five attempts for the chain of Bamethra. That's okay, that's not too bad. I could be a lot worse. <laughs> um. I checked some of the tormentors up today. Are the ones I need? Ah, fair enough. Yeah, I still need, like, a lot of them, because I haven't done anything. Um, I would love to be able to stay up and just do them every two hours to get them all done, because, of course, it cycles through, like, in order every time, but that would be exhausting. <laughs> would be exhausting. I'm gonna head back to the safe place and then I'm gonna place my unit for stream readers. If you haven't already, exclamation battle in chat, grab the link, follow the link through, log in with your Twitch account, and then you can drag and drop your units to the battlefield to help us in battle. And uh, it's just for funsies. It's the funsies. I do have a couple of skins that are available for purchase uh, if you want something cosmetic that's nice and fun and supports me pay paying for my dental bills. Uh, but your call, it is absolutely free to play Stream Raiders. Um, money is for cosmetics and yeah. Waste your breath. Yeah. All right. So I've done that. I'm going to quickly place my unit. Can I place a Berserker? No. So I'm going to place my Flag Bearer. Instead, you might notice that my Flag Bearer has chair on it. Because we are charging into battle for chair. Uh, Alright, so I've done my Tormentors, uh, we're going to do the Covenant Assault, but first, this humanoid needs to make use of the facilities. So I'm going to take one of those chair streams I've got in my list, and I'll be right back. Myself, I'm kind of done with the more, to be honest, totally fair. you got to play what you enjoy. Weird thing for me is a full rotation takes 30 hours, you cycle through the same four if you're only logging in during one two hour period. Yeah, that's interesting. Hmm... Waiting on the patch, totally fair. Well, it's free to play. If you want to be one of the cool people, you need Fiamma skins. Look, I'm not going to say it, but Zam did. BRB. Run away, little girl. Run away. Mmm. Mmm. Chef Legbarrow. Mmm. 
10 out of 10 chair stream. Oh, did I do good? Brilliant. I didn't input on, I wasn't on purpose. Oops. My head has a document is next to line on the page. You can always check that prior. Correct. But it is interesting that like, you know, there are going to be some that are always going to spawn between like 2 a.m. and 7 a.m. Do you know what I mean? Like it's, there aren't few or many enough for the rotation to be truly like, right, like, if you, if you logged in at 5 p.m. every day, you're only gonna get four out of the 30 at 5 p.m. It'd be interesting if they had enough, like let's say it was 23 of them. So, oh, not 23. Yeah, 23 would work. So that when you logged in at 5 p.m. every single day, one by one, you would cycle through all of them. Did, did you know what I mean? I, I was thinking it was a once an hour thing. It's once every two hours. So like 11 of them. If you had 11 of them, it'd take you 11 days. If you logged in at 5 p.m. every single day for 11 days, you'd get all 11 of them. Yeah. That would be convenient. And useful for people who can only play like at a certain hour each week. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. My headphones battery is fine. It does appear to be red sometimes, like as in the red, because it, it cycles through all the colors, it does red sometimes. But no, it's um, it's cycling properly. But thank you for the alert. Three hours, 43 minutes from now, you can do very last mad attempts. I know, I know, 1 a.m., Tom. 1 a.m. to 4 a.m. Brisbane time. And I've got work tomorrow. I wish it had fucking dropped earlier. I'm, oh, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. All right, let's go do the Covenant Assault. Uh, let's see if we can get the, uh, the Necrolord mount. Mm, ouch, indeed. <laughs> Poor fear. Strap. Only happens once a year. And hopefully it'll drop in the first run at 1am and then I can go to bed. Wouldn't it be lovely? The Necrolords march on the altar of domination. Join us and lead the charge. Strength and honor. Meet me in perdition hold when you are done. The Moth Lords tremble at our friend. might. Blood and thunder! Good to see you, my apprentice. Hmm. Day for nice tea and brekkie. Uh, it's work tomorrow. <laughs> I go to bed at four and I wake up at like 8.59 and log into work at nine. <laughs> There ain't no time for breaking. Uh, <laughs> Did my brother I'll be fine. I'll, I'll survive. Maybe a nap at lunchtime. Um. Oh, confused. How come EU don't have lovers in the air anymore, but NA do? I'm sure I had two days left. You don't. Um, EU starts before NA does. So EU also finishes before NA does. Um, you've got to, you've got to pay attention to your own regions start and finish times, which are available on Wowhead. But yeah, EU's done and dusted. Uh, several hours ago, actually. Um, they were... they were finished. Um, but yeah. Accept the follow-up quest. Talk to NPCs around this area. Um... I think... This might be lying to me. I think it might have been down here that it needs me to check in on stuff. Let's find out. Um, uh, maybe 10 to 1 for me. It feels like the same 1 to 4 my circadian rhythm is in Australia today. Oh, Tom. How many tunes do you run through? You, speak to the forge -like tribe. you are more than welcome to join us for our runs. Like, I'm going like 10 ally, uh, 10 horde, 10 ally, 10 horde, 10 ally, 10 horde. 
Um, so if like you are you are more than welcome to slot yourself into some of those. Um, if you've got space on your friends list, uh, exclamation add me will get my battle tag. I've been using the quick join system so that my community can jump in on my queues really easily. Uh, they just add me to their friends list and then as soon as I queue they can jump in with the quick join. Uh, and we queue together. Just so we stop, you know, no fucking around with invites and all that kind of crap. It's just let's do this. <laughs> let's go. <clears throat> um, let me scrolly scrolly. Um, yeah, what do you do for work? I am an assistant accountant. I do all sorts of money fun things. Uh, it's Tuesday, twenty two two twenty two tomorrow. There you go. Maybe that'll be the luck we need to get the heartbreaker to drop in the morning. Wouldn't it be lovely? Uh, I mean, nothing's stopping you from having a ham and cheese croissant at home, except that I don't have ham or croissants. I have cheese. I could just have cheese for breakfast. <laughs> nah. Uh, budget, 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 budget. Badger? Yeah, anyway. Uh, mushroom, mushroom. No, uh, I have I have coconut yogurt and frozen berries and, and all sorts of snacky bits and bobs um, for, for breakfast. And uh, that's all AIP as well, which is good. I'm obviously not... Obviously not 100% AIP <laughs> at the moment, but I'm like... Now that the weekend's done, I'm about 85% maybe even 90% AIP at the moment, which is, which is good. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, just because it's healthy doesn't mean it's not tasty. We're gonna have some noms. All right. Um, so we won't see 9, 2 till Wednesday, 9 a.m., correct? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna be asleep at that point. Um, so maybe? Uh, I'm pretty sure, so the, the servers will go down Tuesday night, right? Um, and then they'll come back up again and we'll have the patch day. I, it just, it really heavily depends what time the servers come up. Sometimes they come up early, because like if they get the patching done and dusted, like nice and quick, uh, then it'll be up early. But yeah, it'll be whatever, like, usually it'll say on the launcher how long the shutdown will last for. Uh, I just haven't checked it in a little while. Because um, I know that I'm not going to be playing at the time of morning anyway. Um, but I'll be streaming uh, launch day from 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, so, whatever time that is for you lovely folk, that's when Jas and I will be playing through the new storyline and stuff. Together. I run 15. Fantastic. Hey, remind me of Bags of Fool and I leave boss loot in a dungeon. It gets mailed. Yes. Yep, reminds me I gotta get my tax done. Oh wow. Hang on, are you are you Aussie? That's that's late. Yeah, you might want to get on that. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, I do my tax in July. <laughs> Cause I mm -mm, get that shit done. Although I also pay my tax quarterly. I don't get a I I haven't had a return in a couple years now. Um, but my tax last year was a grand. I had to pay a thousand bucks to the ATO um, because of my earnings from Twitch had increased by enough that my tax had gone ba -ching! Uh And they sent me a letter afterwards saying, you are now earning enough that you have to pay your tax quarterly. And I was like, ah, fuck. So by the time tax time gets here in June, July, I will have paid just over two grand in tax. Uh, and I might actually get a refund this year because I don't think I'm going to earn enough. Because they look at how much I earned the year prior and then that year and then project my earnings from there. So I think they have massively overestimated how much I'm going to make from Twitch this financial year. Uh, but hey, look, I would not, I would not sneeze at a refund for the first time in three years. <clears throat> I've had worse breakfast. Won't happen again for another thousand years. Well, yeah, because it's that's how the years dates work. Uh, Uber Eats, not too expensive. 
Uh, I have $23,000 worth of dental work I need to get done. Uh, no, all my money, as much as much money as humanely possible uh, is going into my dentist fund. Uh, so if I don't need to get Uber Eats, I'm not gonna. Because it is not cheap. Mm, have an up and go plan for breakfast. Fantastic. Alright, now I need sparkly bodies. Here's one. They're not sparkly anymore. That's annoying. No wonder I've been missing them. I haven't been able to see them because they ain't sparkly. Hot tip with these disembodied souls. If you grab all four of them and then take them in at once, they all get a body simultaneously. Uh, and a song is stuck in my head. <laughs> Good. Wonderful. You're welcome. You're welcome. Oh, as one of my newbies mentioned, I discovered bubble tea during lockdown. Threw the link at them. Thank you very much. Much appreciated. I did have a new order the other day. Um, obviously, I don't see where it comes from or anything like that. I don't even see what you've ordered. I can see on Mellow, from the Mellow refersion, what, um, what you've ordered. I can't see who you are or where it's going, but I can see what's been ordered. Um, but yeah, Bubble Tea Club, all I can see is the total value of the, the order and what my commission is. That's it. Um, but it is really cool when I get the email that comes through and I'm like, oh, someone did make an order. Wonderful. Oh, I'm dead. Will he keep making the body if I release? Is he going to die? Excuse me, you're all very rude. Stop that. <laughs> right, so that didn't work. <laughs> Maybe I try just one or two at a time. Um, good. I don't know about that money. I have an accountant, of course. Brilliant. So do I. I have to, because Twitch shit is fucking complicated. Good lord. Ah, uh, Scrooge is in late. Hello, Lucky! Just, just in D&D, just finished. Ah, oh, fantastic! I hope you had a wonderful session. Living is expensive, especially in this economy. It is! Do my taxes as soon as I have all the things. Yeah. Um, as do I, and considering that most of the things that I need, um, from Twitch, I have to go download them myself. And because America does their tax time in January, it's all done. Like, everything, like, months ago was, it was accessible. Um, so I just kind of grab all that paperwork and, and grab a, a pay, PayPal printout of everything that I've earned, uh, and categorize it for them. And then, uh... They send me a piece of paper and say, sign this, please. And I do. And then they send me a bill. <laughs> the ATO, I mean. Uh, but yeah, fun times. Yeah, that's so much faster. Yeah. Bubble tea, delicious bubble tea. People are keen to see what it tastes like. It is amazing. Very sweet, but you can you can adjust that. You can adjust the sweetness to your tastes. Is for dead, always. I would have been quick if it was them. Might ask tomorrow, of course. Lord. These things hurt. Oh, it must be the blasts, right? It's the... Yeah, it is. It's decaying blast. Because it's the dot that comes with it. I'm gonna die again. God damn it. That's what happens when I don't pay attention. <sighs> Did you get them out, by the way? Nope. 
we're gonna be here till one in the morning. Well, they just said I rise to fight once more, so it did work. Damn it. Should have just hung out. make the screen flash all sorts of pretty red look. Look. Mm, wonderful session trying to keep moving there is a time I will play this cathartically cry. Hey, that's awesome. Well done. I hope you use the light here. Terror makes me feel like a hippo by the end. Fair. Fair. Why is it not? Ah, oh, such a new body. Okay, gotcha. I see. Does that. Has a habit of doing that. <laughs> Worth it though. Worth. the thing? Yes. Okay, good. It says one of four. Uh, not the one. Oh, shit.
Last one to get a new body for. Would you rather be a rat or a goose? That's a good question. Um, I think maybe a rat. I'm used to being small. And rats seem to make for better pet than ge pets than geese do. These are uh, like violent little fucks. <laughs> I think I probably prefer to be a rat. You, like curl up in the hoods of hoodies and, and just snuggle. That's awesome. Oh, thank you, Lucky. It's a snow snow feather hunter. I think was what the mount was today. But yeah, I'm I'm loving like the navy and the grey and the white. Like it just oh. I really like the way it looks, so I'm quite happy with it. Thank you. Goose, goose, goose. Rat for me, they're cute. Rapid antigen test. <laughs> 10 points for Gryffindor. Agreed. That's the best answer. Oh my god. Canada goose. They're violent little bastards. Yeah, goose for me. They're such psychos. Geese are better than dogs for observing your ground. There you go. Interesting. 